Hello and welcome, <laughs> adventurers! <laughs> My name is the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the FNDM, otherwise known as the Proud Papa of uh, <coughs> Zelda Joan Jax. Um, and this is Cold Hard Witch. Welcome back, everyone. I have missed you all, and blessed Beltane to uh, those of you celebrating May 1st. Get it on, witches. Uh, so... Let's go around the room and see who's sitting with us at the campfire this evening. We have none other than Buddy, who plays Xander the Wizard. There's Madeline, who plays Zulvana the Bard. We have Lee, who plays Herrick the Cleric. Amy plays Fariel the Drogue. And then there's Nate, who plays the Professor, who's got it on Warlock. And then uh, joining us not tonight is Rodney, who usually plays Flynn, the Dwarf Flinging Fighter, but he will be out for this evening. And that, my friends, is our fearless party as we go ahead and play through Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. So, gather round the campfire, my friends. Last time on Cold Hard Witch, we had ourselves a good old fashioned town hall beat down and the party was town hall in now let's go over what the party knows nothing okay let's go over what i remember and tell the party the short list yeah <laughs> so at the end of the siege of east haven they had wasted all the durgar who had blasted up through the dungeon to seek the cauldron which they had recovered from the hag stay with me now as the cauldron is still currently in the dungeon and all the durgar are dead the party went ahead and then pushed up into the first floor of the building from there they realized that all the regular guards had started to unnecessarily die from unknown causes. It was then revealed that the party had a second infiltrating force that had attacked the center as well, this time also looking for, presumably, Cauldron, the, the speaker. The party was aghast, agog. So we had our Feriel, our Drarogue, head up to the third floor to try to make sure that the speaker stayed safe. They did that. And then while the rest of the party pushed the intruders out into the like uh, into the town hall proper and onto the festival grounds, they had a throwdown with what was eventually revealed to be a drow. Now this drow had a very distinct connection to one of our party members. I won't give away who, but you might figure it out. It's the drow. It's the drow. So wait, wait, there. there's a drow in the party? Oh, wait, where? Well, there is drow. <laughs> wait, who? <laughs> okay. Where? So, uh, now, as they went ahead and fought the drow on the festival ground, they were able to, uh, well, so as, uh, as Fariel attempted to murder her fellow drow, uh, Flynn, our door flinging flighter, decided to knock him the hell out. So upon concussing that bastard, they had moved him back into the town hall. They are now dealing with the aftermath of this siege. There are dead guards, dead durger, um, and uh, an unconscious drow, and also... The speaker, Captain Imdra, and I think more questions than the party ever thought possible. The big one being, will they find their way out of East Haven? All right, friends. So let's go ahead and let's go to the map. As you find yourselves back once more, I promise, there's more maps in Icewind Dale than just <laughs> East Haven Town Hall, but you wouldn't know it. All right. So... Um, upon dealing with the party had just uh, now re-entered the room. Uh, previously, we had Xander, I believe, was in the uh, first floor sort of town hall area, kind of keeping an eyeball on whether or not other things were going to jump out and attack. Uh, the rest of the party, to my knowledge, was with the Durga, uh, the Durgar, it was with the Drow party. Oh, I'm sorry, except, outside except the of the professor who had dragged the unconscious corpse of one of the thugs into the room with the corpses of the Durgar and gods only know <laughs> what madness. You don't. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's going to be so gross. I mean, so, watch episode 10 exclamation mark YouTube. 
Yeah, yeah. that being said, y'all, please, please, please <laughs> check out the, the episodes on YouTube. This is a fantastic party. All it's right. going to get weird. <laughs> Buckle up. All right. So, oh, party of mine, you you have now not the no longer unconscious form of Duke Daconel, who uh, has been, I assume, bound. I know, I know he was thoroughly looted by Fariel last time. Good on you. I, I believe Rodney, I'm sorry, Flynn, I believe bound him as they drove yes, before they yes. drug him inside. Yes. All right. Yes. So I've got... All right, and I've got everybody on the East Haven Town Hall map. And so, as you are bringing uh, the the dir, uh, as you're bringing the oh my lord, that, that's going to be the challenge for the night, y'all. Uh, as you're bringing the drow into the town hall, both Captain Imdra and Prudence Tarkwald, I uh, say, reveal themselves at the top of the gate uh, at, at the entrance to that main town hall. Would I have heard the commotion out front, Jim? Uh, I think. Uh, Absolutely. Let's see. They had uh, so there was a a slugfest with the Your drow. Your bird was out there too. Yeah, yeah. You got. Uh, yes, yes. But like so they, then... they knocked out an axe beak with a sleep spell, which was, by the way, <laughs> clutch maneuvering uh, from our from our uh, our cleric. Yeah. Um, so I I knew about the fight. I just if I've if I've heard them all coming back in, uh, I'm gonna start making my way up toward the front, and I believe that I had hollered for the professor at some point. You did, um, you did, and I believe he ignored you. But I did. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> I, I did, I did. That could be. Yeah. All right then. So, uh, party members, you now re-enter the town hall. You've got Duck Deck on the floor. He's coming too, and just oh god. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> and then Imdra and Speaker Tarkwald enter. And she's like, oh my god, they're all. They're all dead. What? What, what happened? Did, did we? Is everyone? Oh God! Imdra, <clears throat> Prudence. What happened? It, is it done? Are, are they? Is I have a problem? question. I have a question, DM. Do Go we ahead. do we recognize the two guards that are with them? Because we obviously didn't recognize the ones who were the turncoats before. I checked on them. So uh, I if, went upstairs. So right, well, this is did. info that we this is info we don't know. I right? know, absolutely. but you absolutely. don't. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. So Fariel would be able to to speak to that. So, um, but if you want to play sus, then you can go ahead and play sus there, uh, Xander. I'm just going to give him the hard eye since I don't. If if I don't recognize them, I'm going to look them over since the 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 new guards pulled an about face on us. Um, so I will stand at the ready. Yeah, just make him stare into your shirt. I think that'll be good. I'm uh, I'm going to grab the drow by the collar. I'm looking <laughs> straight in the eyes and say, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> Got hired for a job. By who? By the people who hired me. I don't talk to runts. Talk to me. <gasps> Call me a run. Ladies and gentlemen, time for Secret Secrets. Very Oh, up. no. <laughs> Let's talk in Underdark. Okay. For those of you playing along at home, in Icewind Dale, we have Secret Secrets, wherein, at certain moments of the game, I will ask the other players to pop off their headphones where I can have an isolated conversation with one of the players. This helps to sow distrust and sort of shenanigans amongst the uh, cast and also helps them try to figure out if they can read my lips. It's super fun. So that being said, in Underdark, Duke Dak turns to you and says, why are you helping these surface rats? It's been a long time, Duke Dak. A lot's happened. <laughs> you had a place in Mesnobaranznan that was unparalleled. You could have, you could have been something. Why are you slumming it? It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Look, things aren't always what they seem. And these people aren't so bad. <laughs> are you trying to bring down the Frost Maiden? 
I don't care much about the Frost Maiden. She actually keeps the weather quite nice up here for me. Exactly. She is creating another world for us, one where we don't have to live in the dirt. Yeah, this twilight. But do you want to live under the thumb of the leadership down there? <laughs> no. I want to create a new world for Drow up here. And you, with your friends, it's not helping. It could. Really? Good. What do you want to know? Everything. <laughs> well, now you know very well that things come at a price. You aren't really in a position to be bargaining right now. Oh, really? I think. How You're would... tied up and weaponless. You know very well that a drow is never weaponless. But I would do I would say that you do have me at a disadvantage. So Are you working for yourself or are you working for someone else? Working for someone else. Who? An organization. Hmm. I happen to be in the employ of an organization myself. Hmm. You tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> no, that's not how this is going to work. <laughs> All right. Convince me why I should tell you. <clears throat> I've been working with these people for a while. I've got trust amongst multiple groups up here, as it were. Huh. You could use my help. Roll a persuasion. Come on, Kraken Dice. Don't <laughs> Come let on, Kraken Dice. Let's get Kraken. That is terrible. That is an eight. <laughs> an eight. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, hmm. Yeah. I don't buy it. Our hunting party went down. And you? You fled. And you? Because I think I'll keep my secrets for now. Oh, I? I took the opportunity. A man can only rise so hard, uh, so far among the drow. But Exactly. Hmm. What I miss? Tell me. I was just out for a stroll when this fine party of thugs attacked me. I'm gonna poke him with my uh, with my sword when he calls my group of people thugs. I'm gonna poke him in an open wound. Ah! I watch watch your tongue there. We're not common thugs. We've been hired by East Haven to watch after this place. Looks around at all the corpses. You're doing a fine job. I'm going to poke him again. Ah! Um. <laughs> Surely the hospitality of East Haven Hall is lacking of late. Yes, well, you, uh, you brought the thugs into the East Haven Town Hall to not only try to kill us, but to try to kill potentially the captain and potentially the speaker. So not really caring what you think about our hospitality level. You're making a lot of accusations that last I checked, you couldn't really back up. I'm going to poke him again. Would you like me to heal you? Uh, don't heal him unless I accidentally kill him. Stop, please. Even then, don't Would you, no, Would you like no. me to heal you? Stop! As speaker, I demand that this man be put in the dungeon. We will interrogate him later. Right now- Speaker, if you put him in your dungeon, he won't be there by morning. What? Is he a wizard? Ha Imdra steps forward. What do you mean? I mean, this man has the skills to get out of your dungeon with relative ease. You won't be able to keep him. 
Indra looks back to Prudence and then back to you. She walks down to the group. <clears throat> what do you suggest we do with him? She kind of looks very knowingly to like Fariel, you know, Flynn, uh, and, and, and Zan, like, it's kind of eyeballing the group, like, you, 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 mm-hmm. do you want to take responsibility for this intruder? Oh, now, now hold on a second. I'm, I'm captured. I mean... You people have laws, don't you, right? <laughs> Surface dweller. Laws. Do you know where you are? <laughs> Fair enough. He's going to attempt to uh, take a grab for Fariel. So, Fariel, he uh, goes ahead. I'm going to. She's take 20 feet still, away, DM. Is he still tied up? What's that? He is still tied up. Okay. However, during your conversation, Crack and Dice yeah. says, oh, damn it. Uh, he was attempting to cut his binds. However, with a <gasps> crit fail of a one. That's uh, what I thought. Yeah, say, he uh, everyone, cool. gets, everyone gets to praise Rodney for his not skills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he, uh, he's just like, very well then. <laughs> and Kevin just falls over as he attempts to like make a rush for Fariel and then he's just kind of like floundering on the floor like a fish so does whatever idiot. he was trying to cut his bonds with like reveal itself oh yeah uh, yeah I'm with a, with a crit it. fail yeah and, and it's just literally like the slightest sliver of like a broken like dagger that had been that he had like picked up off the floor from one of the guards and so like it was I think it was skittering across the floor and he's like oh. I should have known balls so is so is he is he prone now? Oh, absolutely, yeah. No, face he's... face up, face down. Uh, uh, like so he tried to make a run for it and then kind of like ro- turtled onto his side a little bit. So yeah, he's uh, so he's, I would say fa- more face down. Let's go with more that. face down. All right, I'll, I'll I'll just put my foot in the back of his back and my sword at the bottom of his skull and I will look at the captain and Fariel and I will continue to look back and forth between them until one of them gives me an order. Speaker, why don't you step into the other room for a moment? So Xander has his has sword positioned over the back, and like Imdra, Imdra steps forward, puts her puts her hand out to push you sort of uh, like just slightly off, and be like, she looks at you, and then very quickly dra- draws she her weapon, and okay, brings it down on his head. <laughs> just when, when when she when she gives me the push, I I will give way, but I will yeah. keep him covered. Yeah, yeah. And she executes him right there. So, no. No, that's a Duke Daconel is Dick Dunn. Dick Dunn. Dick Dunn. God, they're never going to get the floor clean here. <laughs> like, all right. All right. So, with Duke Dak executed, dead, uh, my friends, and I say, Imdra looks to you and says, we owe you. You yet again have saved our town and the speaker's lives, and I thank you for that. Uh, wait. What there? Where's the professor? I I last saw him in the basement. I called for him to come up when when I heard you guys coming back in, but I had no response from him. We what? now go to the professor, <laughs> who is currently in the dungeon. Oh, God. I don't even know what this is. Is the professor like. going choo-choo? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he is. He's just down in the basement. Just so I, I imagine So I imagine as all of us are sort of, uh, as we start to head down back to the dungeon off Xander's queue, let's give the professor uh, a couple of rounds here of just whatever madness he's in, getting into. Do you want to do this now, or do you want to wait till they come down? Oh, no, I absolutely time. want, like, I, I want the moment of you alone with your thoughts. So, okay. as, a, so as, the, as the party makes their way down to the dungeon, the professor had previously taken the unconscious corpse of one of the thugs that had been working with 
Duk Dak, one of our drow. I believe his name was, the unfortunate bastard's name was Tal. And he had dragged Tal all the way, like 40, 50 feet. And mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this man is a warlock. He He's not built for dragging. And oh, no. So uh, as he drags this poor bastard all the way back to the interrogation room where they had no less than, I think, five Durgar corpses. And last we knew of, it was the professor, these corpses, and the unconscious form of Tal. I feel like... Uh, oh, there was also the guard, the the brown pants guard, but he was... He oh, was he's still... He, no, rest assured, if you look on your map, he's still there. Oh, well, yeah, he's down there. Yeah. He's just, I was just yeah. hoping maybe he would let not let things get too out of sorts. I was hoping. Ryan, I've had a month to hope. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, had a, he's had a month to just void himself. <laughs> so oh, my God. He's like a he's like a mummified husk. He's just <gasps> anyway. So, uh, so we go to the professor in the interrogation room, professor. So, I've hauled this guard. I have I've picked up. I found so many more of these these chardelin darts, and I I finally know what I have to do. Uh, so I've taken this guard and I have hauled him and just muscled him just to flop him onto the table that is in the middle of this room onto his back and I'll get out my notebooks and I'll got all three laid out and flip through my rituals and start planning out a ritual to to do and I'll take the darts and I will slowly start placing them down down his arms and down his legs because these darts are the key to to unraveling the plan that is that is going on and the 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 secret of the frost maidens plan for the dales and, and i need someone which, to understand what i'm going through secret secret Ooh. the professor my friends has a peculiar type of need he communicates with his dark god uh through his notebook and so every time he's consulting his notes or writing in his book he is in fact talking to his great one and we go there, now technically i have three separate books one of them is just a field notebook that i just keep notes in so to be clear so to so, so anytime when you hear him say, oh, I'm going to check my notes or oh, I'm going to look at my book, like mm -hmm. wink, wink, nudge, nudge, shenanigans, madness. Yeah. So that being said, from the notebook, you see scribbled on, what are you doing? Uh, what must be done? Stop wasting time. The child of twilight is going to be recalled. Do not let him escape. Who is the child? As I'm like writing down and then quick going back to my work on this, on this guard. The child of the mountain. You know him. You saw the mark. Where is he being recalled to? Don't let him escape. Remember the place you seek. These darts are the key. And it fades. All right, friends. So you are now, so as you start to, uh, as you, uh, you are entering the room and as you enter the room, so professor, are you in fact placing them on this guard or are you putting them in? Oh no, they are, they are in, they are yeah. punctured, like actu acupuncture like. Yeah. Just like y'all are kind of looking at like a low key hellraiser kind of thing going on yes. right now. Like he's yep. just sort of literally taking these darts and sticking them into this thug. 
So yes. as you enter into the room, the professor turns to you and says, they're the key. Please, please do not interrupt. I right. think we need a cleric for this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, party, move your... Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, it was my assumption that everybody in the party was moving down to the dungeon unless you specify otherwise. So party, good. speak now or forever hold your lunch. Yes. Yes? Yes? All right. Yes. Shuffle yourselves to the dungeon. It is a narrow hallway, though, so... Absolutely. But you could very easily move in. We'll say that the professor and the guard are actually kind of up back against the wall there, so that way you guys can uh, shuffle in, as you will, oh, adventurers of mine. And so as you move in, you see the professor has just punctured this poor guard with... Uh, let's see, there were five Durgar. You're looking at maybe like 15 of these Shardolin darts that are just sort of at random spots in his body and like piercing it like one of them's probably just below his eye, like or in his temple. Another one's like sort of in his joints a little bit. Again, like acupuncture, he's trying to activate those 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 pressure nodes. So, uh, yeah. Please, please do not, do not interrupt. I, I, I can, I can show you, I can show you what's going on. I can, I can, I can show you, I can show you the plan. I think he's crazy. I'm just, I'm going to look at Feriel and I'm going to look at Herrick. Plan. That is very creative. I've got the uh, my ritual book out, separate from the other notebook, and I've flipped through to a ritual spell that I am attempting to to complete here. Can I just by hearing what he's kind of saying? Can I come up with what he's trying to cast? Ooh, DM. Uh, oh, roll an Arcana check for me. Take a peeksy at his book. <laughs> Take a peeksy at what you see. How about a twenty-four? Oh, baby! Ooh. Yeah. So uh, with the twenty-four, you absolutely can discern, Professor. What is the 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 the, the school of magic that you are attempting to uh, use? And then, uh, if there is a specific spell you're looking to use. Um, I and mean, it's you... it's abjuration. It, it is it is the spell ceremony but it is very very difficult to recognize because mm -hmm. you would you would notice that this spell is not designed to work like this the way the professor's doing it that will not work it's like a bastardization of the ceremony spell at this point um uh, professor I, i'm not sure that uh that this is maybe the correct ritual for this i know um, what i'm doing it's at this point that Imdra is going to walk into the to the interrogation room and nine hells. What are you doing? Look, I can prove it to you. I can prove to you that the cult has a plan that has already taken over East Haven. For all I know, you're a part of it. Indra moves, Indra moves in and goes to shove the professor up against the wall to get between him and the corpse, I assume at this point. I don't even know. Uh, so uh, As unless he anyone... gets near, he's going to whip out his, his walking stick, which is now glowing with the purplish glow of Shillelagh. Do I, not interrupt. I have my sword out, and in Elvish, I say, I'm not sure what to do here. And I'm going to say that because I know that only one other person in the room, I think, understands <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, I say, huh, any other elfish speakers in the room? I do. I, I think uh, oh, no, I guess there's two. I guess, I, I guess, I guess Herrick does as well. Yeah, Herrick does. Wait, no, I don't. I speak don't. Celestial, my bad. Uh, I, I, I'm not, so I will say that I'm, I'm not, I'm not, and so I've got it kind of between them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, just, I'm not, sh I'm not sure what to do here. Herrick, you do speak elfish? I do, yeah. Okay. I'll say, I'm, I, I think he's unwell. Herrick, is there anything you can do? <sighs> the, the magic is beyond me. He's cursed. Pro Professor, stand down. Look, you we, won't we believe, want to hear you. You won't we believe want me about to hear the cult. You. This is the only way that I know to show you. These I, darts are I, the key. I believe when you. you. Look, when you, when, Tell me. When, when you, Tell, when you, when you, when you shh, hold them. Shh. Tell me. I believe you, but... We can't be. We can't be defiling the dead. We can't. We can't. He's, he's not is... dead. He's not dead. 
Can I? When can he, we tell? He can we tell up, if he's dead? The, the darts right? will clear his mind like they cleared mind. Oh, he's dead, but he thinks that ceremony is going to revive. Yeah, I was going to say you can. I uh, see. I you, see. You can make a. You can make a medicine check if you want, but no, um, no. <laughs> uh, can, uh, can I but, just by looking at him? I mean, uh, you can make a medicine check. The DC is low. <laughs> <laughs> so I roll, roll with my crack and dice and hopefully not get a natural one. Yeah, I'm yeah. like. Casually, 15 just total pulling out my dagger yeah like, uh, no i love it like and, so yeah with a 15 uh on that crack and dice uh yeah you, you everyone kind of looks oh he's like you know he's 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 alive he's alive and like the whole party the whole room just kind of goes and looks at this guy in the corpse and it literally looks like someone had taken it's almost like a crucifixion like he is just like he's like hammered these like these Shardlin darts into this guy at points where in like there he has blood welling up from his his joints and like from his temple like it, it, the guy was unconscious to begin with he's at zero hp and he the professor's been down here working on him for some time he he ain't coming back like it's like you need a wish uh. to bring this fella so yeah and imdra is just she's trying very hard I, I'm 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 gonna put my sword away. I'm gonna put it back in the sheath, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of casually put my hand on Ember's shoulder, and I'm gonna advance toward him. Uh, Professor, we we all we believe you. We want to hear about this. We uh, the I know that weird shit's going on. I mean, look at this, and I'm just motioning around to all the Durgar, the dead bodies. We we just we all need to take a break. We've been up for a long time. Take a break and tell us about it. Tell us tell us what you, you know. I can show I, I, you. But I'm not going to believe him. He tried to attack us. I believe you. I, but, I, I, but I need you to, to take a breath and to tell us. It's, it's, just, it's just as I've been telling you from the beginning. The, there is a cult that is dedicated to Oriel. And this cult has completely infiltrated East Haven. They're all in on it. And I believe that once they have retained enough control over East Haven, they will spread throughout the rest of the Ten Towns. It's too well, late to do, it's too late for East Haven. East Haven is done. We may as well light a match and burn it down on the way out. You will do no with, such thing. I, I will, I will, when he says that, I will, I will slightly grip her shoulder a little bit tighter. Uh, and she can say that, but I just, just to let her know that it's okay. Uh, it, well, you know what? I, I believe that the captain is is on our side. She talked about not liking the cultists earlier, and, and I think that she wants no, to hear. She's part of it. She's part of it. No, uh, that's part I, of the I... game. Why don't you understand? Oh, that's I don't. Part of I their game. Just think, we need a good sleep, and with that, I cast second level sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, someone please knock out Captain Crazy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Is like a heartbeat away. All right. So what do we got? Second level sleep, my friend. Uh, on, so it's that and that. Ooh, roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh my god. Ooh. 46 hit points worth. Mm. Whoever's got the least amount goes first. Apart All from right, the, sure. the elves are excluded. Well, what, wait, what's what's the what's the radius on it? Where did you center it's it? In yeah. the room. But the elves are excluded, so uh, yeah, because magic can't put it. Yeah, and I, I don't cast it on myself, is, obviously. The professor is immune to sleep. Oh, you for fuck's sake! Really, you're While enough. all of this is happening, so, <laughs> so does the captain go down? <laughs> uh, like, so, uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking around. Or the Herrick? Room, okay, so. Or no, it, it can't be Herrick because he. No. Are you, how are you so immune? Are you an elf? So, um, I think. So, looking at the hey, is I, Flynn is Flynn with us? Oh. oh shit! You have to move Flynn. this thingy. Yeah. So, so Flynn would be. I feel like he would have come with us. Would I have known that he's immune? Is there anything that we've known Other, before? I mean, I haven't. I haven't mentioned it so before. You've not, noticed. You've noticed the head thing is he's I not. Don't yeah, he's sleep not at elvish, night. so you don't know that. And then uh. on top of that, like anytime you've cast the spell or any sort of thing, that, now you would know that he hasn't slept. Yeah. Because he doesn't sleep during long rest, so you would know that. So yeah. manic. Yeah, but he, we, you could also just think that he's just bonkers cuckoo. So yeah. you know. Uh, so oh lord. Yeah. Okay, so technically, I believe Rodney's at twenty-eight. Uh, Oof. Ooh, uh, Zolvana, 
Are you immune to sleep? No. Because you're 24. <laughs> so I, I think <laughs> with the uh, captain's uh, uh, robust 32, uh, I believe Zolvana goes down first at 24. So she uh, <clears throat> slumps against the wall. And then uh, I believe Rodney with 28 left over. Is that? I don't think that's going to be enough to knock him out, no. though. Right? Oh, well, yeah. that didn't work out well, would it? <laughs> so, so Zolvana, you are currently uh, uh, asleep. All I'll right. give Zolvana a gentle pat. <laughs> Wake up, my dear. Wake up. That wasn't meant to happen like that. What's going on? Can I be trying to slip back out down the hall and head back upstairs? Absolutely. Roll me a stealth check. Try to catch the speaker. Yeah, roll me a stealth check. Um, That's a horrible roll. I'm not necessarily needing to be sneaky other than if uh, it would I mean, there's the a professor. Uh, again. But I rolled 11. Ooh. Like, I don't care if the party knows where I'm going. So, but who, so who, who do you not want to notice? I don't care if any, if they all know. Okay, I cool. Just so, to so just within like, this sort of commotion of yeah. like Zolvana, so depending upon whether or not you wanted it to be like a ding, 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 or yikes. No, no, it's um, fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, would you roll? Going down, I'm going to go to an 11. Yeah. So, so that beats my passive. That's, uh, yeah. Well, okay. So. Yeah, you, and so on top of that, so yeah, I th with the commotion of Zolvana kind of collapsing against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Fariel, you're, you're able to, to beat feet and, uh, to head back up to the, you're heading towards the speaker? Yes. All right, so she has made her way back to her office. She is kind of just sort of numbly going through the motions. Um, as you make your way up there, uh, party of mine, uh, having popped that sleep off and the professor is still rambling mad, Imdra is going to lock eyes with both like Herrick and uh, uh, Xander. And she's like, Herrick, it's like, if you try any more magic while I'm around, don't. And then she looks at Xander and is like, we need to get him out of here. I don't care what you do. Get him out of East Haven. All right. Now, Fariel, you're on your way up and you're running. Yeah. All right. So you get into the office. Um, I, unless I run into trouble. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, no, the worst, worst thing you're going to do is slip on a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, slippery. Yeah. <laughs> So much blood. Ew. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. I slide in like yeah, right. of hazard. Oh, no, oh, yeah. No, it's very like Kramer from Seinfeld. You're just like, <laughs> all right. So you slide into the uh, speaker's office. And... Yeah. Oh, hello. Speaker. Yes. Uh, it appears the professor is not himself. Do you have, are there any skilled healers in the town? People familiar with curses, things like that. Uh, um, oh, no, nothing, nothing like that in the town. Th there are some, um, some shaman, uh, in, in, or, 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 or uh, druids in, in the wild. Um, but they would be up near, uh, 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 Ker Dineval or, 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 or Ker Koenig. Um, remind uh, me how far away is that? Oh, uh, so Ker Koenig and Ker Dineval. So, uh, Care Dineval is actually going to be from East Haven. It's about nine hours of walking. So if you were to hire out, you, you do have the offer from the speaker to go ahead and try to get uh, mounts or dog sleds. Right. So that would cut that time in half so that you're looking at like four and a half-ish hours. Do you have any way to get word to them quickly? Uh, that they might head south and meet us on the road? Why, uh... Yeah, uh, yes, I was actually just going to send a note. And she was, uh, uh, she sits there and was scribbling out a note to give to um, Emerald, uh, the, her, uh, her, her, her winged snake. Um, so uh, uh, what, would you, uh, what, what would you like me to say? We need them to travel south as quickly as possible. We'll head north and try to meet them, but the professor needs help and he needs it quickly. R right. Uh, so uh, I'll send one to both uh, Dineval and, and Ker Koenig. Uh, uh, that would be, well, uh, uh, Koenig is only two hours further from uh, the Dineval, so that would, uh, I, I'm sure that the snakes will get there well before you do. Um, I'll, I'll send um, both. Yes, right. and if you could make good on your offer to get us transportation, we need to move quickly. Yes, yes, of course. We can uh, get that prepared. 
right uh, away. Oh, absolutely. No, uh, head, head to the stables and, and I will have uh, them prepare do dog sleds, uh, axe sure. beaks. What would you we love axe beaks. Good, good. Um, I'll have them prepare some axe beaks for you. Um, is the professor alive? He's alive, but unwell. I see. Mentally. Like more unwell than usual? Yes, it's, oh, it's oh. more than usual, yes. Okay, okay. all right. I, he's always been a little weird. Druid, healer, um, help, south. Urgent. Uh, ur ur urgent. Um, who who should I say is uh, uh, meeting them? Uh, your party? Yes. Uh, I don't know. We're, we don't have a name. Uh, I, I shall call you the saviors of East Haven for Tal. That'll do. Uh, the East saviors? <laughs> <laughs> Haven or hell? All right. Um, so, uh, all right. So uh, she uh, takes that, uh, wraps that. Uh, anything else? No, you've been most helpful. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, thank you. I'm sorry we can't stay longer to help put oh, things you've... back together. Oh, no, you've done more than you'll ever know. Good luck. All right. Uh, and then do you head back? Yes. Excellent. Okay. So the emerald is off and uh, we come back down to the bit to the dungeon. So Asphariel makes her way back to you. Oh, party members. Imdra is like hand on the sword. Like her eyes aren't coming off the professor. She's just like. Somebody do something before I kill this wizard. Oh, I yeah. am. Wake up, my dear. Wake up. And I'll give those a while. <laughs> hmm. oh, yeah. So so for the sleep spell, Herrick, uh, does, can you, you could, yeah, you could just wake him up. Can you stop it? Or uh, is it you just, just wake uh, people up? Yeah. You, yeah. You just, <laughs> yeah. Can you stop it? Sure can. <laughs> so, <laughs> hello, my dear. Oh, I thought we were having a long rest. You just got really <laughs> tired for a bit. Um, Wait. Ca no, I just, Captain. Okay. Captain, do you have a key to this door? And I'm going to indicate the one to this room. Um, um, I, I, not on me, but the sergeant down here would, though she motions to the corner of the room and there's a giant hole where the Durgar came out. You nearly fell down that, Sylvana. You, uh, do you, are you strong enough to keep the door closed? Uh, depending upon what's on the other side of it? Yes. Just us and the spinny corpses. And I'm going to kind of gesture for her to head to the door here. Um, I think it would be wise to get him out. And... Work, work, working on that. Working on that. All right. I will leave it in your hands. And then she'll sort of profess her nod and then as she sort of she's like starts to back up towards the door and she's like i will give you some time but if i don't hear any progress i'll come back down here with some help he might have killed us all by then understood and she's gonna slowly back out of the room and uh, you hear the door, and then suddenly from like behind the door, Sergeant! And then like, you, kong, 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 kong. and then uh, if you're paying attention at all, you can very distinctly hear the sound of the sergeant coming up, and then she the jingling of keys and the lock. So, are you hungry, Professor? I could cook your favorite meal. Uh, now that she's gone, we can we can talk a bit more plainer. Uh, is she is, yes. she out, is she out of earshot? Uh, can I see through the the, the doors? Are, they're they're barred 
jail cell doors, right? Damn. So the so the interrogation room has one of those little like sh- shunks where you can like open it and chit chat because the idea is that like it's the interrogation room. Mm. Um, though the other ones have the bars on them, so you could by you know virtu- by being inside could slide that open and sort of look down the hallway a little bit. I, I would like to do that. I'd like to to open that little thing. Okay, and, and as you. If you can tell me what I see. Absolutely. So you open that thing and you see Imdra standing there and she like, the minute you open it, she locks eyes with you and gives you a little bit of a nod. And then you see, um, you see Fariel coming down the hallway behind her. And then the sergeant is sort of looking like at the door, looking at the captain, looking at the door, like, what, what do we, and I, I, okay. She's she's just spying on us. See, you can't trust her. Uh, can anyone see out that slot, but me DM. They'd have to be right, like, they'd have to be, like, looking over your shoulder. So it's possible that the professor may have, like, moved forward, but you could would have also heard him. Last time I checked, professor, you were kind of backed okay. into the corner. So He would also assume that she was... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I, I assume that your ramblings weren't yes. exactly based in fact. Like yeah. most I, ramblings we I, hear. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to hold a hand up toward the professor like this, and then I'm going to keep looking out the window. Okay, she she's turned the corner. I think I hear her going up the stairs. Hold on. Okay, I don't hear anything else. I'm going to pointedly look at them as hard as I can look at them out in the hallway. I I don't hear anything else, and I can't see them, Professor. She's gone. And I'm going to shut the thing, but not all the way. Got it. Because I want them to still be able to... Like, I'll shut it and let it bounce back a little bit. Cool, cool. Now, at this point, Fariel has not come into the room, and you are locked in. So, Fariel... You want to try to make your way in? The captain is going to try to like. I, I think you would have caught this exchange. Yeah, I assumed um, when he said he was get, like giving eyes that I. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Well. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to be try to be just fucking quiet. So, ladies and, and gentlemen, it's the prof- <laughs> it's the professor Zolvana, Herrick, Xander, and Flynn uh, in the room, uh, and that and poor poor tall poor tall is dead. So um, not dead. He's totally right. fine, guys. Pro- professor, t- tell us, tell us how deep this goes, and I'm going to start chucking Durgar bodies into the hole to hopefully block that while the professor talks, and hopefully <laughs> Flynn will will pick up All right. the the and if we can make them like puzzle pieces with you know like throw oh, them yeah. in so they Tetris you can't, bodies like like Tetris uh, Durgar bodies. Oh. Um, I want to block. I want to. Under the guise of clearing up, I want to yeah. block the hole as badly as I can so that the professor can't get the drop on us and try to go out this tunnel. Yeah, the old stuff a dwarf in a hole. Got it. <laughs> yeah, tell us, tell us how how deep. Wait, uh, why do you think that the captain's involved? How deep does this go? Listen, there is a plot to systematically remove all of the speakers from each of the ten towns, and when they are gone, to install cult leaders from the cult of Oriel into each of the speaker positions. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not, that sounds exactly like something that the cult would do from what we've been told. That that seems that seems reasonable. Do I absolutely. have a little deception on that? Checks out so far. I mean, no. <laughs> you, you would absolutely be rolling at advantage. And okay, like, good, okay, good. I'm, I'm in my best negotiator, like yeah, TV so negotiator mode. Yeah, so here's the thing. This I'll let this RP unless something absolutely ridiculous cockulous is attempted uh, but for the most part the professor oh. trusts all of you um because remember you, you you know about this you were in on, like you weren't in on it you weren't part of east haven so unless you do something to like specifically make him go wait a minute like he assumes you're all wearing tinfoil hats like him so yeah, well, we know there's a cult anyway so yeah so it checks out so far no, oh, yeah, no. Th- this is the this is the terrifying thing about the professor's revelations is that he's not a hundred percent wrong. So I believe the the leader of the cult here in East Haven is is the 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 owner of the wet trout in the Metra, the the the, the dragonborn. Uh, I believe uh, the, uh, the 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 interim speaker here is also deeply involved. She has been at the forefront of each of the attacks and just so happens to escape with her life every time. I believe she is possibly the number two in this cult and is 
uh, just there to to ensure that their that their fake election goes off without a without a hitch to make sure that uh, Nemetra ends up with the speakership. And I I, I honestly I we we've, we we're too late for here, but I know that they have not seized control of the other of the other towns. If we if we get over to to Cardinable, I, I I think we. If we can locate their speaker before their cult installs their leadership, we might be able to make a difference. East Haven is too far gone. We need to get out, rally the other towns. I, I mean, I don't want this to come to a war, but I don't. I don't know what else. What else it could be. DM, I sent you a private message. Yeah. Uh, do you do you that. think do you think is that okay? Because I will send that along. Uh, absolutely. However, uh, do you do you think that they that they concocted the plan to kill the, the the first speaker here, ladies and gentlemen? Secret, secret, Herrick. Son of a bitch. I feel so special. So, <clears throat> as this conversation is happening and the professor is rambling on and on and on and on, suddenly at your shoulder when you were down in your workshop, tinkering away at things, um, your wife would always come up and just place her hand so on your shoulder. And you feel that same sensation now. And while you're there, presently in East Haven Town Hall, you are mentally transported to a place of serenity. And you hear her voice as if she was standing behind you again. And she says, my love, you are going to have to leave them. And soon. Don't be afraid. This is for good things. He nods. Do what you can to help your friend and then get them on the road. I can't wait to see you again. And then oh, you're back and the professor is rambling again and Jade, I sent you a message. Um, do you think, do you, Professor? Do you think that that they they started by killing Professor Whalen? Did did they draw us here to be part of this? Oh, he doesn't have his headphones back on. <laughs> Are you talking to Nate? About <laughs> though, it kind of worked that you Welcome were back. You yeah. be like. Totally gone. Uh, so, do you do you think that they drew us here to to, to cover up killing Professor Whalen? So, uh, Professor uh, Speaker Whalen. No, we got here before they got to him. I think it was just almost coincidence but, that we stumbled upon this into their nest. But the plan was in motion. People knew we were coming here. Does this reach back into Bryn Shander? If so, then I think that we need to deal with this now. Uh, how do you how are we supposed to deal with this they're they've completely infiltrated all of east haven the the six of us can't do anything about that well we're pretty good at killing people like if we just start killing people now Herrick will say a few words and say oh all father guide me and just spring into action and try to now look at the professor. Flynn is okay. Flynn is going to see that, and he's going to attempt to aid you. So uh, that'll give you advantage on that roll. But uh, professor, what 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 sort of kooky nonsense you got cooked up? Uh, go ahead and roll your attack first. Do it. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I will say surprise, oh, motherfucker. Late. 
So lazy. Yeah. <laughs> so a grapple roll, my friends. So with this, I uh, rolled with here. advantage. Eleven plus athletics is fourteen. Uh, with two, so that is sixteen. With okay. So we've got guidance. sixteen on the athletics roll, and now the professor can counter with either an athletics or acrobatics or. Oh, um. I mean, they're both terrible. We'll go okay, acrobatics. Yeah, no, I was like, like... Uh, I should have rolled the, the D6 inspiration. I got a 15. Totally. Wow. And with that, uh, Herrick is just able to grab him and uh, and, and try to get a hold on him. So, uh, hold you, still, you, my no, friend. Wait, let me You've go. got a bit crazy. Go. You've just got a bit crazy. That's all. Hold still. Are you part of them? I'm gonna hand Have they gotten my, to you, Herrick? I'm going to hand Flynn my rope, bind him. Okay. Herrick, where are you going? I told you, you're not very I'm gonna look well. At, I'm, no, I'm going to look at everyone else and be like, he's planning to leave. You can't let him leave. Herrick is planning to leave. He's betraying us. Look at I, him. I'm, it's starting I, now. It's I, starting I'm, now. I'm tuning I'm tuning him out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock. Once Flynn has tied... The professor. You have to, you have to like, listen to me. Professor, professor, don't worry. I've got an idea. I okay? know. <laughs> I know. I've been given information. <laughs> Herrick is going to leave. You can't let him leave. Don't let him do this. And then Flynn takes his idea is that he's going to like put a sock <laughs> in the professor's <laughs> mouth as much as he can without trying to get bit. So <laughs> tries to gag him. Let's see here. Uh, is this uh, another opposed grapple? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you like this. Is this for is this for the sock or for the tying up? For the, for the to bite his fingers off. This is for the sock. Uh, I don't care if Rodney loses a finger; it's his own fault for not showing up. All right, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll, uh, my, love you, roll my inspiration on this one. So let's see here. Uh, that'd be a seventeen. Uh, oh plus... no, I got an, I got an eight. It's All right eight. then. So I, I'm I'm fully socked. <laughs> it really it to you. sucked. Oh, oh no! I win. <laughs> oh man, I love this party. Okay, so uh, all right, so Professor is <laughs> like yeah. But once once he has him bound, I will knock on the the interrogation door. As soon as you knock, Imdra like swings it open, and she's like. Good. This is not what we signed up for. We do not attack our own party. I Come on, let's get, let's get well. him upstairs. I talked to the speaker. There isn't anyone in town that can help, but there are apparently druids north of here. She sent word ahead. I've asked them to travel south as quickly as possible. If we can get on the road north, perhaps we can meet them and fix him. How did she send word? With her little flying thing oh emerald yeah. i do i do have to say something though my friends I, I i don't know how the professor knows but i do actually need to leave but it's not for some cult mm. rabbish mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm spinning around it's not for cult rabbish i've got to go where do you what? have to go harrick <sighs> We need to get on the road, and I need to help other people. That's what my god would want. I I thought you had parted ways with your god. Or that well, your god had parted with you. Well, obviously, Zana, but you have seen that I have been healing and stuff, so my god is back. It was me that abandoned my god. It's not because of me, is it? Oh, why would it be because of you, my dear? Because you know what I am. That doesn't bother me. I define people by their actions, not by their race. I'm going to be a little bit kind of crestfallen at that, and I'm just going to walk out of the cell, and I'm going to stop next to Emdra, and I'm going to say, great, now we've lost two. And I'm just going to walk away. No matter what she says to me, I'm just going to walk away and continue back upstairs. She'll she'll go to say something and then watch you go. And um, I'll she'll just shake my head at her. I... I also sent you another private message, DM. <laughs> <laughs> Dad did do that. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and uh, as 
uh, as as Harry. So if as if Fairy Owl is going to give her the cold shoulder, then uh, she'll look to Flynn and say, "I will pay you for the night's work, and I promise you, if if the speaker said she will help, she will help. Prudence is a good woman." And Flynn will like, I know, I know. So you make your way up. Um, party members at, at this point uh, i can get we can either sort of push let's let's do let's do one more little bit of rp upstairs let's say so we're not gonna so so well, i want to either push to getting everybody out onto the road for east haven yeah for sure for sure take it, yeah take just it. just just one little snippet i will also heal the body uh the guy that's on the laying down just being right. stick stuck with needles i will heal him so as you uh, as you lay your hands on it, all um, this blue light seems to sort of wrap him in this infinity symbol. As it does it, all of the shards sort of slowly push up and out and fall, and you hear them like glass just tinkle, tinkling on the floor. And as it does that, like the wounds close up, and while his chest doesn't rise and his eyes don't open. There is a look of peace on his face, though his heart does not beat. I'm afraid you killed him, Professor. Too much poison. All right. So, uh, as you bring the professor up and out of the dungeon. I imagine uh, Flynn's going to help you out with that, Herrick. Her so who's who's carrying the professor right now? Herrick and Flynn? And Flynn, yeah. yeah. I would have followed Xander yeah. shortly after. Yeah, so, I, so I, I've got Xander. So I've kind of got Xander, Fariel, Zilvana. Are you with that front group or helping the, the back group sort of carry the professor? Helping the back group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, same. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't heavy. Mm. He's up <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, so uh, you you get him up and out into uh, sort of. I will say that we're now as we watch the map, sort of pinging where the the, the statue was, and so we're kind of in that little uh, alcove area. Um, where do you want? Where do we want to go? Oh, party mine! Did Fairyel join me upstairs? Yes, yes. So you you have all now come up and out of the dungeon, and you're now in that alcove. Oh, okay. So if everyone well, that, is up, that courtyard, I should say. So if, yeah. if everyone is up, I'm just going to point to under the stairs. It's mm. gone. It's all gone. All of the statue bits made of that awful, awful stone. Gone. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know. He might not be entirely wrong, though. I don't think he's entirely wrong, but I do think there's something wrong with him. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of this place. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, the speaker gave me the choice between dogs or axe beaks. I chose axe beaks. That's Wise. Good. Wise. All right, friends. So, uh, Imdra, uh, as you guys are sort of, um, and then she walks past, like she goes to say something to the group and then walks past you into the speaker's office, comes back out and she has, uh, the, the promised money for the extra night of work. Um, uh, Tempest, uh, is unable to locate, but she can keep looking. Okay. All right. So, um, I'll just I'll just look at the money, and I will look at look back at her, and I'll walk over to Herrick. Are you sure this is what you want? No. Are you sure this is what you must do? It's what I must do. I'm not gone forever. I'll still be around. As you look at the gold and walk away, Flynn just sort of slides into just. I wink at Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you a little like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, 
uh, takes them takes the money and uh, so uh, I'm told that you have uh, mounts waiting for you at the stables thank you again uh, I I hope we can find help for your friend know that you always will have Haven in East Haven I'll come back um, for coffee one day. That was an awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's let's make sure we get all our stuff, and we'll go. And I, I'm going to give just just a huge dwarven kind of handshake to Herrick, and as quietly as I can to the captain, I'll say, "I know you trust her, but death seems to surround her. Be mindful." And I will give. I'll offer my hand for a handshake to her. To extend it and say thank you again you're welcome I'll go to Flynn and I'll say Flynn divvy out a portion of that gold we can't leave Herrick with nothing oh I've got plenty my dear yeah he's got plenty Flynn all right all right all right no, honestly, I've got plenty. I don't need any. Mm -hmm. I'm only going <laughs> to give it to Wait Larry. Hmm? <laughs> All right. You've convinced me. Yeah. Flynn looks at you. He's like, I never thought I'd see a rogue looking to give handouts. And it. All right. Anyone else have anything else they want to do inside East Haven Town Hall? Get the I fuck out! <laughs> burn this mother to the ground! We we'll go burn this mother to the ground! <laughs> is, <laughs> is is our axe beak Uber here yet? Yeah. Uh, so actually, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so you just got the, the ping on your phone. Oh. Do, do we have everything? I I think so. I mean, I uh, say so you you got your party members and uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Do do we have all of the you know the professor's books that he had? Let's say, did someone grab my books? Because if I, I was... didn't see someone well, would, grab my books, well, I would then say I would that be if, freaking out. So. If Zalvana was following up behind, I would like to think that she got them. Yeah, I got them. Redcon. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if, if anyone's gonna grab them, it was probably Xander. But like, uh, as they... no, so he was being dramatic and leaving. The oh, room. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I was bringing up the real. Oh. Back, cool guys don't look at the explosions nonsense all right cool yeah. <laughs> all right cool so uh, losing a party member and one of them's crazy yeah so technically it sounds like you lost two <laughs> we're about to have to get on the road and we're down a cleric and trying to tow not, this tied up crazy warlock <laughs> you're not you're not down a cleric yet mind you it's fine you fine you fine all yeah, right we got like like six more minutes and then we're down a cleric yeah yeah <laughs> you know. All right, so uh, you get on the road, yeah. Mm -hmm. Road right, again. Friends. I mean, if you have a map for it, if there's, if not, we can pretend like East Haven Town Hall is the map. <laughs> I mean, do I have a road map? Do any other maps for this campaign exist? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's just it's like funnily enough, uh, with all the tundra and roads and whatnot that it, that are happening around here, no maps for those exist because. Why? Because. Because East Haven is life. <laughs> <laughs> they just want y'all to live in East Haven. Speaking of which, friends, we are now, I want to say, on the road again. Fire. Yeah, right. On the road again. All right. So uh, you are currently making your way <laughs> the only way you know how. Um, no, as you head down the road up. Up north, I guess technically is where you're headed. Uh, as you make the the way to uh, to Care Um Well, we got to go back kind of west to go north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So East Haven sort of jets like out yeah. on the lake, so you go west and then up north. Um, and yeah. as you sort of make your way, uh, you, you're traveling along and making some pretty good time, um, Herrick. Uh, as as you guys get a decent chunk down the road, suggests that you stop for a warm meal. And uh, he he fires up uh, a campfire and does what he does and starts cooking a 
beautiful uh, 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 feast. Of <laughs> what, what, what do you fire up for him there, Herrick? Goes back to the original sausage, tomatoes, mushrooms. He uses what some of the. Did you sick last time? <laughs> It's true. I don't think it was the food. <laughs> it couldn't have been the food. <laughs> he sniffs the Well, mushrooms. at least we'll be there to take care of you. Oh. We'll miss you, Herrick. Oh, I'll miss you too. I'm not going forever. Who see? Who knows? Well, with the, the way the last few days have gone, it may not be you that's gone forever by the time you decide to come back. I'm sure you'll get Reginald sorted and I'll look at him. I'm not part of the cult, you know. Uh, you hear in your head, I want to believe that. I promise you. Is that the professor yeah. purring? Can you hear the oh, oh, yeah. purring? <laughs> I imagine that's the sound of like Flynn eating, just like <laughs> Sorry. furiously noshing away. I love it. Um, At ASMR, you're yeah. welcome. I love it. Hey, not even mad about it. No. So, uh, so yeah, as you all settle in, and and uh, and Herrick is making this feast for all of you. He's passing around and he's adding all of his little special touches, and you, you're kind of remembering the very first time you all met, and. The the White Walkers exploded uh, uh, onto the onto the road and and even then like you, you had met around a campfire and this party has survived a lot of uh, stuff and nonsense to get to where they are and here you are again on the road and while your paths may not necessarily always converge with each other's. You'll see each other again, somewhere down the way. And would like to say anything as we uh, start to draw lots for watch for the, uh, I guess for the for the long rest y'all should probably take before you get into shenanigans. While we're sitting around the campfire eating, Fariel will take her hood down and take her mask off. There you go, my dear. No more hiding. Just not say anything, but just eat. Looks good on you. Who wants extra sausages? <laughs> Lynn's just kind of staring at you like jaw game. He's like, <laughs> uh, kind of guess that was going to happen. I, uh, I guess I'll take the the unfortunate task of feeding the professor. I was just going to say, Xander, <laughs> <laughs> here's draw please, straws please, for that. Please feed me. Yeah, I will. Uh, I, I will. I will feed the professor. I will feed him his fill as well. And I'm sure that he and I will have many, many conversations via message in our head that we won't bore everyone else with. <laughs> So, Professor, do you actually ask? Please feed me. Yeah, yeah telepathically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dig it. And, and so, uh, due to Flynn's sensitivity, he's going to look to you and lo also look to Xander and sort of also sit next to you and sort of help in the feeding process, like put a hand on you and, <laughs> and so it'd be like. Sorry, I just had this image of Flynn. I just had this image of Flynn. Like, see, eat it, taste it. It's good. See, it's good, right? Taste it. No, see, it's good. It's just, oh, here, let me get out of the piece. See, here, I'm gonna prove to you. Good. I'm gonna prove to you that it's not poison. <laughs> Look, it can't be poison halfway through either. It's like. <laughs> ready? Open your mouth. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> here comes the hype train. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the mention of aeroplane, like the professor's eyes go wide, like. <laughs> I told you he was a cultist. <laughs> All right, friends. So, uh, are we drawing lots for watches? Well, I think we pretty much have decided that Feriel and I are always two of the three. Yeah. I mean, right? Since Let's we're elves. 
Yeah. Yeah. Eric would always yeah. offer. Those of you, <laughs> well, the professor never sleeps. So uh, we've got Ferio, and then I can watch also. Zanty, yeah, yeah. You, you should. know, I, I, I'll, I'll take. <laughs> I'll take my watch with the professor. I love it. I love it. Okay. Just grunt if there's any danger, professor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All so right. Vanna, I need my book. What? Which one? Uh, the the small, thin one. Okay. With the plain oh, cover. Rummage through. <laughs> Sandy, okay. Maybe you should look at. Wait, aren't you bound before he gets it? Not gonna cast yeah, fireball on me, are you? Open it up for you. <laughs> just yes, just place it. Just place it in front of me. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I look at I... Xander. Just like. Can you keep an eye uh, on that. I'll I'll turn your pages for you, Professor, because you. It's not all, I can all on one page. I, nope. Please, I I can do this. I just. I'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, anyone who uh, like cracks open this book notices that it looks to be empty. Like, it's totally blank inside. Yeah. It's just there's nothing on it. I'm going to message that to Feriel and say, hey, shit just got ratcheted up super weird. <laughs> it's fucking blank. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at super weird. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, I imagine... Uh, Herrick will probably take. I take a watch. Of... Yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Ferio, go ahead and roll me a d8. Eight. <laughs> yes, a d8. <laughs> roll me a d7 and a half. It's a d8. Five. A five. A okay. Eight. Okay. Um, with a five. Nothing happens on your watch. All is well. Uh, a nice quiet evening. Uh, anything you wish to do while you sort of watch the party sort of... Uh, well, <laughs> watch the party slumber. Finn is knocked the hell out. Like He's like... Snoring. Food coma snoring. And then everyone else is just kind of like uneasy peering or I'm, meditating. Like I'm watching. Oh, no, you know, I'm like out. Keeping watch. <laughs> and, but I'm also like an eye to the professor just because yeah. I know he doesn't usually sleep. And I know he's been super fucking weird, so I'm just kind of keeping a wary eye on him as well. Got uh, it. How close of an eye are you keeping? As close as I can, while eyes. also keeping watch of the camp. Uh, you'll see. There's a there's a a quill floating in front of him, now writing in the journal. Harrick is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so and that is your watch uh as your watch concludes you're gonna go ahead and w wake up uh <laughs> xander I, yes. I guess nudge him from meditation yeah, I, at that point yeah so okay. all right xander professor mm -hmm. yeah let's say go ahead and uh roll me a d8 seven seven CX. CX. Okay. Uh, with a seven and a six, uh, your your night passes easily. So, um, can I can I ask you about the book, Professor? It it, it seems at least to us blank. Uh, is it is it something that that you can read that that we cannot? That is not something that I'm at liberty to say. Okay, no, no, no harm, no foul. I just, it is, it's a peculiar, a peculiar magic that I, I have never been exposed to. So I was just curious. And, I, and I'm being genuine on that. I'm not trying to, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not, I'm trying to see if you're like even more nutter than we think you are. I'm not trying to suss out kind of your intention. Um, that is a genuine question. So if you insight it. Okay. I'm I don't think the professor is cares to insight. Professor takes most people at face value, so okay. You ever, you ever get get it dirty or like a stain on it or anything? Does that fuck it up? It hasn't in the past, no. 
Yeah, they have those waterproof spell books now. I've never seen one. I, I haven't either. I just I've heard about them. All right. I'm gonna did keep the small the talk sock. going. Did you, guys, did you guys put the sock back in my mouth? Or are we having <laughs> this like yeah, yeah, is this, is this a telepathic conversation? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering, yeah. Because if it's a telepathic I, conversation, you're gonna hear from Flynn going, Would you two please keep it down? Some of us are trying to sleep. Uh no, I would I would have removed it to try to have a a soft conversation. Uh but if he gets ruckus then back to stuff and stuff. Okay. I'm trying to find never mind. Trying to find some hot stuff to put down on us. <laughs> no, it's just hard to cast spells when you're bound. Yeah, yeah that's, that's real. That's real. Nope. Nope. Yeah, so if he's going to hex work. me, then we'll let him go ahead and hex me, and shit might get nope. weird. Nope. All right, and Herrick, your yes. watch is up. D8. Yes, indeed. I rolled a six. You rolled a six? Yes. Excellent. All right. So, uh, again, man, nicely done, everybody. <laughs> no no surprise encounters on this watch. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as, as the night passes, Herrick, you see the Aurora sort of come in, and, and you know it to be the um the frost maiden's spell now being cast back over icewind dale but as you watch it sort of undulate and dance across the sky you you blink because it seems to be traveling towards you almost as if it's sort of arcing and snaking its way down and right as it gets to about just in front of you, in the sky above you, it drops in this sort of almost sheer waterfall of dancing lights, similar to a, the Rainbow Bridge. And this has a dazzling effect oh, on your eyes. And as you stand there and see it, the silhouette of your wife appears just beyond. And you hear her, she says, it's time, don't be afraid. She's here, the blue lady is here and she will help you. Now, the rest of you see Herrick sitting there, and as before, when he would hear the voices, you don't see anything. You don't hear anything, but he is fixed. Now, I will say that those of you who were sensitive uh, we're able to roll to perceive that. So I'll allow uh, anyone who's conscious or meditating to make an arcana check. Ooh, that's nice. Mm. Uh, 19. I'm passed out, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would say. Uh, <laughs> Flynn is aware of a disturbance. Uh, in the but horse. Yeah, <laughs> God, I love you, nerds. Um, but he, uh, but he, he doesn't, he doesn't wake from it. He, he's having some trippy dreams, though. <laughs> uh, I got a, I got, I got a fourteen as well. A fourteen. Okay, so uh, with a fourteen, and then uh, who else? Fourteen as well. Fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nin Nineteen. Lovely. Okay, so with a fourteen, uh, Xander, you, you don't see the shimmering facade, but you watched. The, you see the aurora, and, and you... Is it similar to the first night? So you see it, and it, like not, you don't see the, the, sh the shimmering waterfall in front of him, but you see the crown again around his head as that, that aurora seems to sort of encompass him. Uh, and 
with a 19, Professor and Fariel, you both so see. I was 14, so I'm Oh, 14. There. Okay, so you both see the crown around uh, his head, and then Professor with the 19, you see the waterfall coming down in front of him and this shadowy figure beck beckoning to him from beyond. Um, and you see Herrick just start to get up, I think. Herrick? Telepathically, Herrick, you still have a, a, a role to play in this. I Please don't go. You are a key to this somehow, a key to something that 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 I require. I haven't figured it out yet. Tell me you won't go. Does he hear this message? Yeah, it's it's telepathic. So it, in, so it, in, unless you unless for some reason you couldn't hear it. So it's it's telepathic, but um, I Herrick, I, I will let you decide if if so. There is it is again like you're there, you're physically there, but you have transcended. And while your form sits there and either stands or starts to move towards this mirage, like you hear and you feel the calm and the joy and just that that sense of home that you miss so much. And, and that is what is just like radiating towards you. And so while you may, you, you, the, you can hear the professor sort of, so, Herrick, please don't go. Herrick, you help. And so like you hear it sort of in the back of your head, but it, it's, it, it's as if like, light is just blasting through you and it's getting lost. The book closes and f floats into my bag. He turns to face the professor. And he smiles and says, I will be back, my friend. I haven't left you yet. But if I can, if my God will allow me, I will place one last blessing upon you, Professor. Um, and he will ask his God to remove the curse that's on him. Mm -hmm. And then he will step into the into the unknown, into the unknown. <laughs> and so, as 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 you see, like those of you like watching Herrick, you see him there, and then all of a sudden, it's as if he just walks behind a wall. I go after him, and then he's gone. I and dive, then, and then yeah, and then yeah, and then and then you suddenly see the professor like, like, do you say anything? Or you just go for it nope uh, there's no time for words at that point i got okay so uh say i stand up the 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 ropes slip off and i dive after him okay excellent so the professor Wait, are these are these flynn knots and the ropes just slipped off hmm so uh as the professor like gets up and like runs and like all i know is the ropes are untied yeah so uh uh <laughs> So as as the uh, so uh, professor gets up, he dives for for the hole, the the wall, the the, the seemingly non space that uh, Herrick has jumped through, and you see him leap through, and he gets his arm caught in the space. And as he gets his arm caught in the space, he seems stuck there, as if he's like he has a hold of something, and he's struggling to hold on to it, but. It, to, for all intents and purposes, his arm is just not, it's just gone. It's just not there, but he has this looks of, on him like, uh, ah! I will, I will try to help him if I can. I need him. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you, do you, do you grab the professor? Do you, do you try to like reach for his arm? What, what do you, what do you do, Xander? It, 
if and he is anybody so... who's anybody who's sleeping right now the professor is screaming in agony it sounds as if someone is literally tearing his arm out of his socket well if if herrick has just disappeared yeah and herrick is and, gone and then then I, i'm not just going to try to pull the professor's arm away i i'm going to attempt to reach in and grab whatever he has as well Ooh. oh okay okay but i i just feel like that pulling on his arm would be a release it and come back but i mean i didn't get to see all of he saw i saw the crown and then herrick is just fucking gone okay okay uh, uh so and wait. the professor is loose which I don't know if that's good or not, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, one, no, one problem not. at a time. If, if, right. he, if he thinks I'm his friend, that's going to go better for me later. So absolutely. So uh, as you reach through, so you, you try to reach through the space and literally like you're, it, it's as if, if it's as if like the nub of his arm stops there and you try to reach in to get, and there's nothing that it's like, you're just reaching through the air in front where his arm should be. There's nothing there. Like it's do, it's just negative space. Do I have time to make an arcana check? Because that it seems like maybe this is extra planar magic or something. I mean, it, 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 it seems like it would be something that I might know about, but only if I have time to make an arcana. Um, you can you can try to make the arcana check, but it's it's like time is of the essence. Uh, Zolvana. What, what? What? You are awake. <laughs> you are awake right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm awake. What's that? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. No. So again, like you, you like it's just cramp. Um, the, 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 there's celestial energy, sort of ah. wrapped around the professor's arm, but it's wrapped around the spot where his arm is disappearing, but you don't see anything else beyond that. So there is like a ring of light that you are seeing as it's just sort of encompassing his arm and he is screaming as if the light burns him. Uh, I don't know what to do. Is anyone gonna help this poor man? I mean. I'm trying. Can, can, oh, yeah, no, can you, I, no, you do good. Can I go and just like place hands on him and just, I don't know, would healing hands help? I don't know what oh, to do. Okay, yeah, no, I say. Try anything. Okay. Um, so, so you, you you just go up and try to like and put hands on him, try to try to ease his mind or try to heal him. You're gonna do it like grabby hands. Yeah. Right. <laughs> grabby hands. Um, like, can I just hey, place buddy. them, place them like on his arm and just see if like, since I am a celestial being, if I, like, just pull his arm or help him pull his arm out, it'll help. Awesome. So as you touch his arm suddenly your eyes go white and you see beyond that there is a form that he's holding on to and you can see it now like a shadow figure just beyond this realm this this white light you you see it clearly and yet not it's it's right there beyond it, and, and and you can see it and you can help him grab it I can help him grab it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, all Professor, right. Do you continue to hold on or do you let go? No, I got to hold on. No, and, and, and like, damn the torpedoes. It's, yep. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and, and, it's and the, the only thing go. I, it's the yeah. only, it's the only clue I have. All right. Awesome. What, what part of Herrick does he have? That's a bold assumption. I have no idea. Um, so, uh, <laughs> what's it feel like? Is it like a hand? <laughs> so, <laughs> can we just stop right here? Now, I know uh, where this uh, is gonna go. So, uh, I know you people. Them, as them, them so, dwarf glutes. <laughs> uh, I will allow the professor and Zilvana to make a grapple check with advantage. So, pull ye me hearties. Is this pure strength based? Uh, I would say so, which is why I have Zalvana helping you. All right. Well, um, are, are am I rolling with advantage, or are we both rolling? Ooh, Zalvana, what's your strength? My strength is fourteen plus two. Okay. okay. Uh, mine is a plus zero. 
So, ah. but I was going to use my D6 uh, inspiration also. So, and you can add that to that roll. So, Silvana, yeah. roll with advantage, add the D6. Oh, do I just roll a oh, D20? Yeah. Roll two D20, pick the higher number, advantage, and then add that D6. Yeah. And she get cracking. My, she can use my D6. All right. And then, um, okay, and there's the D6. Okay, and then with advantage means you roll the, the higher two, of the two. Yeah, you pick the higher of the, the two. The higher of two. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That would be a twenty-three. <laughs> oh, nice, awesome. So as you grip, boom, like you, you, you all see the professor screaming, screaming, screaming. You see, incomprehensibly, Zolvana reach through. Her arms go away, and as she comes back. <laughs> Boom! Giant explosion, and laying on the ground before you is Zolvana, the professor, and what appears to be the skeletal remains of one of his arms, and another Asimar. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our break at that time. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah! <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome back, everyone, to Cold Hard Witch. We just dealt ourselves a cold, hard blow by the loss of Herrick the Cleric and the arrival of a fantastic new individual. At the break, we had just watched our, our wonderful Herrick the Cleric walk into a, a, a rainbow of light uh, to better himself, find his wife, be at peace. Uh, and though he is gone, he is certainly not gone forever. But now, laying on the ground in front of us, with next to the the the, the rather sh the sh the huddled form of the professor, as he is now a one-armed uh, man, uh, with from, with a stump of an arm sort of laying on the ground before him, cauterized by a, almost a white, searing heat, and next to him awakes another Asimar. Delphina, introduce yourself. Um, there's, what just happened? Delphi? What are you doing here? Oh, hi, I am, I don't know. And you see a really, really nervous looking little Asimar that she is, she's got, she's about five, two, five, three. Um, she's got a long white dress on with a light blue cloak that's lined in white fur all the way down. And she's got really, really light blonde, almost kind of silvery hair that she's got pulled up. Interestingly enough, exactly like this. <laughs> and she has like honestly not that I, not that i planned it but you know not that i planned it it was total accident and she has a little sapphire necklace on and you can see that she doesn't have any weapons um no 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 bags no packs no nothing and very nervous and completely shocked at where she is I'm going to ignore her and even though I'm not a medicine kind of person I'm going to I'm going to try to make sure that the professor is not bleeding out I'm that joining that he you is that I would have that, that, uh, obviously he's going to be in some sort of pain and So as as previously stated the wound is cauterized like it is like it's almost it's like a lightsaber cut it is just absolutely like burned sealed Can I roll an arcana to see what a lightsaber is <laughs> uh, you can get uh, away. A nerd pr geek. Pr pr <laughs> prof professor, professor, are are you? Uh, I mean, uh, you're not fully okay because you're not all the way here. But are you okay? I let him. I let him escape. I let him go. God, how did damn it! He was my only, rooms? my only clue. The only chance I had. <laughs> we'll find him, professor. I don't. And Professor, I don't, as, I, don't, I, I don't know how, but... Professor, as you start to talk and speak these words of, 
lives got away and I could have had him and he was my only clue. It's as if there was like a dark gunk inside your mind. And then little by little, it just starts to drip off of your cranium. And as it sort of slides off, like the enlightenment of, of what has transpired dawns on you. You realize that while yes, there is a cult of the Frost Maiden, that it's not the conspiracy that you think it is, and that it, it, you couldn't believe for a second that you would mutilate as a corpse, attack your friends to, to try to prove this theory. And in the dawning light of this revelation, you sort of stop jabbering for a moment and are struck mute. As the curse from the Shardlin had been pulled from you, as your arm had been separated from your body. P professor, are you, are you, are you, is, he stopped talking. I, what's, Professor, Professor, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gently kind of give him a shake at the shoulders. I slap him across the face. <laughs> Everybody roll a perception check. <sighs> Ooh, not, not Thank good. You. Um, seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lot. Uh, oh, dude, 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 lots of things just happened and then Streamlabs uh, crashed and it's a thing, uh, dude. Oh. 20. 22. Yes, yes, I love the Asimars coming in clutch there. I got a 22. So. I see it. 22, 22. Looks like Xan. Wait. Oh, that, that was the 15 for the, the 130, the D37, which is a, a dice we didn't know existed <laughs> until today. Um, so 20, 22. Uh, Did you want me to roll? I had a 22 as well. Um, Professor, do you want? Do you, I'll let you roll if you want to roll. I was, say, I, I was assuming it was a perception about myself, so I didn't roll. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Farrell, you had a a 22 as well. A 22 as well. Awesome sauce. Uh, and then, Professor, did you roll something? Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's me and you, bro. It's me and you. Story. Stay an on character. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. Both, uh, say, all of the fantastic females in the, in this party, uh, you suddenly hear on the wind to the north of you, all the world in winter white, shield in sleet and ice, set upon never ending night, she conquers paradise. As you look, you see in the darkness, a, two sets of cold blue eyes emerging from the forest across the way. As you had pulled your friend out of the uh, event that occurred, it appeared that wasn't the only thing that slipped through. Ladies and gentlemen, roll for initiative. Ooh, uh, let's go. God. You know, this really sucks for Delphina, who was probably just having coffee somewhere, and now all of <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's pulled like, it into another... Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Let me just post this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You know what helps? If I put up the initiative tracker, that, that is a... Mm -hmm. That is a go-to win move. Ah, oh, is it your first night? Oh, Come do on. we all need to roll again then? What's that? No, no, I've got, so I've got, uh, oh, yep, no, you sure do. Well, no, 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 you have old things in there, so clear the old things out. That's, and not, that's what I was going to say. I was, like, I was like, oh, no, you guys are good. You guys are totally good. No, then, we're not good. Oh, Ryan, why did you clear it? Everybody you can roll, just, a, roll again you can and just put your old ones move in. them out individually. Because all fun. the new ones were on there. Um, okay. I've been gone for like five weeks. <laughs> you know what? It's not a new thing. You were doing it before. Like, I feel like um, <laughs> uh, up until right now, it's been going pretty well, guys. So. I love you, Ryan. It's okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. Uh, oh. No one's complaining. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, no, I'm absolutely complaining. Well, of course you are. My 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 role is better this time, so you shush. My my role is way worse this time. <laughs> oh, are we changing them? Well, we, to the we're changing first to the first roll. Yes. Yeah, no. Just... Yeah, change them to your first rolls. Okay. Now I don't know how to do. 
I got a 13 the first time. So oh, wait. Okay, so no yeah. worries, no worries. So uh, what do we have? Uh-huh. You were a 13? Yes. Lovely. Okay. I, uh-huh. oh, oh, no. I did a thing. Ha ah. All right. Everyone else, is everyone else updated? Top of the order is Fariel. Fariel, as you, uh, so with your stellar perception roll, you see these two muscular forms sort of shamble out of the woods. Uh, They seem to be in a state of half dress, but like uh, the parts of their body are blackened as if by frostbite and they seem to be swinging like crude flails and, and, and like clubs with shards of ice stuck in them. And behind their eyes is that cold, cold blue light. Cold blue light like the, like the cold light walkers? Not the like the white cold light walkers. walkers. So the cold the white, light Oh walkers. my god, you guys, they're back! <laughs> I, I mean, lost a shoe! Uh, um, so. That's why they're only half dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's the car? Bradley! Um, so, uh, <laughs> as... No, the cold light walkers were all, like, you. they had no face. It was almost like the, the entirety of their, their heads were just one beacon of cold light. So... Whereas these creatures, the the light seems to be coming from their eyes, but they very distinctly still have a a human form, though looking a little rough around the edges. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. All right, Fariel, what say you? Um, I'm going to move over toward this dead tree thing and see if I can try to bonus action hide in the... Deadness. Oh, you apt. Yeah, no. Do do. <laughs> I'd hide in the deadness. <laughs> That's the story of my twenties. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so go ahead. Relatable. Uh, ro- <laughs> roll that stealth, my friend. Oh, I rolled a nineteen on the dice. Oh yeah, no, you're good. You're Plus good. Plus nine. You guys have, these guys have a passes of, of ten. You are. Right. I'm good at hiding in yeah, the deadness. You're good. You're good. <laughs> hide in the deadness. All right. <laughs> it's so so goth. And then I will. Um, Shoot my short bow at um, this one. Heck yeah, shoot your shot. Oh, oh, I get to use my Kraken dice now. Okay. Oh, that's not great. That is a 16. A 16 is a hit. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem with being like half naked. Like, you know. Big and half naked. Yeah. (laughs) That's why you don't go shuffle through the woods naked and, you know. Don't do it, kids. No, you don't know my life. <laughs> All right. Eight so roll, damage. Roll that beautiful damage. <clears throat> Eight damage. Eight damage? Yes. Oh, all right. All right. Fair enough. I um, rolled a three. I'm sorry. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. All right. So, awesome sauce. <laughs> Just disappointed. <laughs> Aww. He's, he's really a dad, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> that, that's real. That's real, y'all. That's real. Mm. All right. Awesome sauce. So uh, with that attack, like you're, so you, you draw your bow and it sort of like rocks, like it sort of rolls its shoulder back a little bit and then seems to just sort of turn. All right, uh, Zalvana, you're up. All right, so I'm gonna come up and stand next to uh, Delphi. Uh, if I take my, you know, little arrow thing off, there we go. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> I'm also going to Use my crossbow to hit the one on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and give him colors. Yay! The bleh one. The bleh? Bleh. bleh. All right, I, I assume red was the first one that was shot, yes? Uh, yeah, this is the one she pinged. Yeah. Good, good. I wanted to make sure. So, you were firing at bleh. I'm firing at bleh. With a 15 as a hit? Yeah. Roll that damage. Bleh. That. Nice. Nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> well done. I didn't All feel right. like mathing. I'm so sorry. All right. No, no, no worries. <laughs> so uh, the Berserker is going to roll. Oh, no. You mother. <laughs> and so as, as he sits there, you see him like 
grab the arrow and snap it. And as he snaps it, he then takes it and starts chewing on it as in like a manic. He's like, oh, is in the, oh, the world in winter light. She didn't, I sense snow. And he's just like, just gnawing on it. And that is all he does. He hungry. Oh. Xander. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, that's <laughs> fun. Can you advance the turn order? Uh, and are we rolling Flynn in or no? Oh, uh, <coughs> is so he still is he still food coma? <laughs> so here is what I'll do for uh, characters who are out for the time being. Uh, I will just have everyone. Uh, I will have you the party roll, and then we'll do. Uh, somebody gets an extra attack. Is how we'll play that, just to sort of keep things savvy. And then if there's something uh, clutch that needs to be happening as a friendly neighborhood DM, I'll suss that out. But for Finn. Uh, or Flynn, just so I'm not having a headache. Uh, go ahead and uh, everybody, mm, let me roll. How many people do I got in this party? Five people? Uh, uh, six, six of us. Lovely. All right. So then in the order of the turns, it would be one, two. Uh, all right. Then uh, Zolvana, you get an extra attack. Dig it. All right. So uh, I'll actually let you do that now since you would have gotten the extra attack before, but we didn't jump that ship just yet. So is there an attack you wish to do again? You are silent, but deadly. Ah, huh. <laughs> Sorry, there's a fart joke in there. Anyway, <laughs> so... I was rooting for it. Ah, <laughs> oh my God. Toot, toot. So, um... Just because my brain is special, um, I can't. I can't do like a spell right now. You right? Absolutely only... could. Yes. Yes. You have, okay, a, you have an can. extra action. It's essentially that you have an extra attack. It can be either a weapon attack or a spell attack. Like you gets one. Now you cool. can't be pulling off some like nonsense of like two atta- two spell attacks or something like yeah, that. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Um. Cool. I was gonna cast fairy fire. Kick ass. Do that. Yeah. All right. So Meow. pop that off. Indeed. So they have to make a DC 15 dexterity save, correct? Yes, correct. All right, then. The first roll is a two. <laughs> the second <laughs> roll Perfect. is a five. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> Do not uh... go stumbling through the woods half naked, my friends. Like... Mm. Nothing good happens from it. All right, so two and a five, they are both lit up, which means, if I remember correctly, Fairy Fire allows you to have advantage on the attacks so long as Fairy Fire is in effect. Now, that is a concentration spell? Uh, It is a concentration spell. Okay, cool. So remember, you concentrate. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, friends. So now, uh, Xander, your attacks are with So now. (laughs) So now. (laughs) I the fact that it changes things, it just makes it makes things far better for me. Oh yeah, uh, you're welcome. So, I uh, <laughs> as as long as the professor seems okay, then this new threat's coming in. Uh, I will draw my sword and just quick as lightning begin my blade song. Dig it. And then I will move on up to Hyun. Dig it. Oh. And I will put it down on red right here. with with advantage. With advantage. Um, let's see, it's seventy. How about a uh, twenty-three to hit? Uh, twenty-three will hit. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. All right, and so it'll be um seven magical uh damages. Mm-hmm. All right. And I don't have my second attack until level six. So. I was going to say, I was like, yeah, you got any more of that mojo? But yeah, that magic attack no. is super scary. Uh, all right. Awesome sauce. That brings us to, ladies and gentlemen, a new player has entered the game. Delfina. Delfina. Uh, so Delfina is going to look really upset. And uh, say, so, so, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? It's okay. It's okay. Just... Just breathe. Um, do you know how to fight? Um, well, 
so, so, sort of. I don't, I don't like violence, and I don't like doing things, and I don't like hurting things. But I can, I can do this. <sighs> okay. And she will steady herself and close her eyes, put her hands together, take a deep breath, pull her hands apart. And as her hands come apart, you see this energy come between her hands and it's a bright light with a bunch of swirling feathers and the further apart she pulls her hand the larger the feather gets until she has a giant white and silver feather and i cast spiritual weapon oh you so amazing all right all right well i'm what about the big feather there's just a feather yeah i'm a a giant feather i wasn't lying about the feather yeah no kidding no her weapon really is a feather i love it all right so uh for the for the time being uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh bring out herrick's spiritual weapon so i can because i gotta find you a giant feather now that's awesome so uh herrick's spiritual weapon where would you like it to go delphina your spiritual weapon I am going to send it towards Bleh and Bleh. Just, smack, like, just bring it down as hard as she can. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Roll that attack. I like to think that it kind of floats oh, down and then damn. when it touches, it's just an amazing amount of damage. Uh, it absolutely is. So with a 23 to hit, it does 12 force damage. So you see this feather and it just sort of spirals through the air. And as it spirals through the air, rather than like coming down and slapping the thing, it like punches through him. <laughs> so you kind of see like this like little tufts of white come off it as it shoots through this guy. That's incredible. All right. I'm sorry. It, it's it's okay, Delphi. It's it's okay. <laughs> bad guys. All right. Yes, they're the bad guys. Anything else, Delphina? Uh, that is it this turn. Lovely. Berserker number two wishes to probably not do anything as well. Uh, oh, brilliant. Okay, good. Berserker number two, having been shot with that arrow, goes, ah, ah, and he turns and immediately starts charging towards the creature with the light. So he just fine, two, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, gets uh, in striking range of Delphina and Zelvana. And he begins to attack. So he takes his his club with spikes of ice. And as you get closer, like again, like you can see, like his nose is almost gone. There's like two blackened hollows in his face. The creature that you see before you is just uh, like, it, it's he's rotting away. I believe I just tried to show this to the players. Let me know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, lovely. So this is like you see him in this sort of state of disrepair as he is charging towards you and he attacks. Taking a swing. It's not nice. Oh. Come on, Rockstar. There you go. Good job. Good job. Uh, oof. And he hits with, uh, so he makes three attacks. He lands one, two on Delphina and one on to Zilvana. Uh, the first attack is a 22. Uh, second attack is a 24. Uh, yeah, yeah. Both both of those are going to go on to Delphina and a 17 towards uh, Zilvana. Of damage? No, no, no. Those are the hits. So I imagine oh. uh, those hit, correct? Well, 17, does the 17 hit you, Zilvana? Yes. Okay, okay. So those are two hits. Let me go ahead and roll that damage. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right. Oh, now you take... All right. So, Delphine, you will take six bludgeoning damage and eight bludgeoning damage for a total of 14 bludgeoning. Silvana, you will take 10. And... The both of you must make a constitution saving throw. <sighs> Don't suck. <laughs> Nat 20. That's a 22. They can eat it. Wow. Okay. So mm. 13 is a save. 
Nicely oh, done. Yeah, so yeah, he just, but yeah, and that 22, <laughs> you good, you good, you good. So yeah, so, okay. as, so as you feel these hits, boom, it's just slamming into your bodies, but like there's this, there's this sort of sick or like icker that seems to wash over you a little bit. Uh, it feels like uh, confusion, rage, sorrow. Like it, it just feels wrong. As, as you as you're sort of bludgeoned with this uh and it's, it's as if the shards in the club itself have some sort of, of sickness on them uh anyone me the, the same shit that we dealt with with the darts and the statue yeah. uh, all right friends uh and that brings us up to the professor um would i have any way of knowing if these are undead or not Ooh. Um and if necrotic damage would do anything. Let's see here. Uh so I don't want to metagame too much, but I don't know if because we haven't faced anything like this before, have we? True. You have not. Okay. Uh and while you could do like a, a detect good and evil or something like that, like that's gonna take yeah. an action. But like just looking at them, they are they they shamble enough, but you're gonna have to make a perception check to sort of determine whether or not that shamble is just I've been out in the cold too long, or I am dead inside. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, they're not together anymore anyway, so that kind of changes what I'm doing. So I'm just going to just grit my teeth and, like, just let the stump hang and cast Shillelagh on them, my walking stick, as I just stride forward, just death in my eyes, and swing my Shillelagh at this thing. God, I, I want that. you to know for just a moment I thought you were casting Shillelagh on the stump of your arm and I was oh, gonna be like man, most why, why, bad ass why did ever. I know? can I retcon this and pick up my <laughs> own severed arm <laughs> man I wish I was cool enough to think of this stuff off the top of my head <sighs> to, to be fair you know what if there were battle music playing you would be but well, probably oh there absolutely true. is battle music playing not that we can hear <gasps> what lies in slander I've been I've been blasting Cry Havoc this whole time. Oh. Um I have a, a dirty 20 to hit. Well, good on you. All right. Uh that Did absolutely I get him? will hit. Oh, oh yeah. You, you done got him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got him real good, Hoss. Ah, right. Friggin' rolled a one for damage, so it's five points of Shillelagh magical bludgeoning. Did Shillelagh you roll at advantage? Did you roll at advantage? Did you? Should I? He's fairy yes, fire. fire. Oh, they're all fairy fire, of course. <laughs> it's worse, so. <laughs> Doesn't get better. Doesn't get yeah. better. All right. Uh, cool. So that's five damage, right? Five. Magical bludgeonies. Yeah. All right. Dig it. All right, friends. And now we're back to top of the order. Okay, but also, why no? Why no music? Sorry. Uh -huh. Top of the order. Ferio. Is the repeat on, and do you have the volume slider up on it? Yeah. I mean, it says it's in now playing. It says it's on, but I don't hear it. Yeah, right? Like, in fact, now that you mention it, I don't hear it either. Rule 20. <laughs> Why do you betray me? <laughs> So while he's getting that sorted, oh, yeah. don't forget yeah, there's going. a giveaway going on. No, no, Fa Fariel, mm -hmm. do something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I realized why my damage was so low last time because I haven't been playing this character in a while and I didn't roll sneak attack damage. I was. So I'll remember that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will Fantastic. remember that this time. Um, I rolled the same thing I rolled last time. Um, a sixteen. I'm shooting at red boy again uh good old red boy all right mm, so uh yeah. 16 will hit roll that beautiful Guys, i miss the moist boys <laughs> i want the moist i want the, the moist, moist boys, boys. the moist boys they never say dry <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh. a lot of god roll your okay. damage all right <laughs> i don't remember what it is okay i'm sorry um that's better. So that's 15 damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which that's is more out. like what it should be. Yeah. So. That, that sounds closer to what we should be putting out at four. You know. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not mad. 
I'm not mad. All right. Uh, <laughs> you heard it, right? Okay, yeah. good. Yep. Um, excellent. So from there, we go uh, right to Zolvana. Zolvana, remember, you now have two attacks. So Yes. So, um, okay. Huh. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Huh. So since bleh is right in front of me, um, I that. am going to rapier him. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, no, yeah, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, she said what she said. She said what she I said. She said what she I said, didn't mean right? it like that. You can't right, so, it. So, so using your sword, you attack him. Yeah. Go ahead and roll yeah. the attack for your sword. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Uh, okay. So since is this, do I roll with advantage for this? Or Absolutely. For they the are attack? very fired. Oh, though it's a concentration spell, right? Yes. You did take some damage last turn, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So I'll need you to roll a concentration check. So roll a con save and don't get below 10. All right. So that's a D20 plus my modifier. Yeah, plus your con. Yeah, save. plus your con modifier. modifier. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just checking. Um, all right, 15. 15 is good. Fairy fire is still in effect, y'all. All right, cool. so go to, go to. All right, so. With your um, raspier. Yes, I, I rolled an 18. 18 will hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. All right, so oh, that's uh, damage is. Oh, also, did you roll twice? No. For advantage. Remember, friends, advantage is rolling twice and picking the higher number. And you can yes. always, as we call, crit, crit fish, fish. Where if even if you roll and you succeed, you can try to roll again and try to get a critical hit. Because let's be honest, crit happens. All right. So. Uh, uh, the other one was nine. <laughs> okay, so no, 18. 18 is the one yeah, to go. So 18. Yeah. Okay. Um, so roll so that rip your damage. 1d8 plus 3. So 7 plus 3, 10. 10? Yes. Boom. Nicely done. Cool. Largest. And then um, I'm also going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Ooh. Nice. Um, on Bleh? On Bleh. On Bleh. As well. Okay. Because screw that guy. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> That's actually what you say. Screw this guy. He's like, oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Um... Oh, okay. And so 18 again. 18, 18 hits. hits. And then it's 3d6. Um, 3d6? Yeah, 3d6 damage. Curse snap. All right. <laughs> well, that was stupid. And all right. So, <laughs> all right. So 11. 11. 11 more damage. Yeah. That was a heartily done. Bit of bit of owie. Good good on you. Good on you. Yeah. Yeah. So um this guy is regretting some of his life choices, but you know, should have listened well, to his dad. Um, shouldn't, shouldn't have messed with my friend. There it is. There it is. All right, awesome sauce. <laughs> so uh that is anything else, Zolvana. No. I'm just gonna like like what? <clears throat> Bardic inspiration. <clears throat> oh yeah, that. Can I do that right now? <laughs> what? I? I believe Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action, correct? Oh, I forgot I can do that when I have an action. Yeah, let me get some, like, um, you know, Bardic Inspiration to Xander. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could inspire the Berserker if you want. Just don't. No. I, I, I really don't. I, I don't think so. You. I don't think so. Thank, thank right. you, though. Fair enough. Okay, so Xander, you now have a, I believe it's a D6? Or is it up to a D8 now? No, it's D6. <laughs> It's gotta be it's only a D6 four. still. Yeah, yeah. We're, no, only level yeah four. No, we're not. We're, we're, we're not okay, DM. Cool. We're only level four DM. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and we barely hot, remember how to play your characters right now. <laughs> yeah, hot second ago, you didn't even remember you had a bonus action. All right, so and I didn't sneak attack. It's not just you. <laughs> yeah. So, so I got the bar who didn't remember that they had inspiration, and I got the rogue who doesn't remember that they sneak attack. Sweet Jesus. We're doing that's, awesome. That's how autopilot level ten is for them. It's like forty oh, yeah. point eldritch blast. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The crap. All right, so anything. the Berserker goes, and as Red attempts to get a grapple on his broken mind, he does. Good job. Uh, and he is going to take a look at sweet tap dancing Xander uh, and just go ham. So uh, he attacks with his flail three times. 
A 16? Miss. Damn. Uh, 23. Um, stand by. I need to yeah. see. Stand by. 23. 23. Level uh, four, man. <laughs> so he, he might have some blade singing nonsense. Yeah, well, so 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 with 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 blade singing that pushes my AC up, and I will cast shield, which pushes you to twenty five. Twenty five, you oh. saucy saucy motherfucker! All right, oh. nice. So with a twenty five, yeah, and um, he rolled again a, uh, a a a sixteen. So does does it if it's twice, does it hit the second time? Is that how that it works? does? Unfortunately, yeah, I think it so. Okay, so yeah, so he just. <laughs> And he has like the huge tufts of the snow just kick up, and and you anyone who can see this, you just watch as Xander moves with the grace between the snowflakes, man. Oh man, like it, like you see that thing, and he like he draws his blade up and around his shoulder, and like his sword beautifully cuts like a little snowflake in half, and it's just like you can hear it sing on the wind. So uh, yeah, not a swing and a miss. Uh, speaking of which, Xander, you're up. Uh, all right, I am going to roll with Hadvantage. Do I have to declare that I'm using the Bardic Inspiration first? I don't believe. I think after you roll, but before you know if it hits. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the dealio. Okay, uh, and then her since her Valor Bard, she can uh, I can use it on damage. You can add it to damage. Yes, Valor Bards allow you to add their inspirations to damage. Oh, Valor bars are the shit. Uh, let's see. I rolled an 18 and a 19. Valor bars. Delicious. Uh, <laughs> uh, 18 and a 19. Uh, both, yeah, both well, of those hit. So well, you- that, yeah, that's before my, my pluses. So uh, as long as that will hit. Uh, and I'm going to use my, my Bardic Inspiration on the damage. So that's a D6. Is that right? Uh, yes. Jesus Christ almighty. Six points. I rolled double ones, a one on a 1d8 and a one on a 1d6. Wait, like, so six total damage for that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not the best. Well, I love you no matter what. I know. All right. Uh, so uh, anything else, Xander? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Delfina. Sorry, right, everyone. The, the dice. The, the, the dice got to me. Yeah. This embodied voice of the sky. Okay, so uh, Delfina is going to freak out, and I want that feather to go towards red as she just makes a swinging motion in the air to try to knock the fluff out of him. Brilliant. All right, so swing and a miss, or swing and a swing. Not swing and a miss. Hold your horses, swing sir. You just wait a minute. <laughs> Damn it. Swing it. Swing 16 it. is a hit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Soft, you soft, downy mistress. All right. So, um, yeah. And is that a bonus action technically to use? It is uh, indeed a bonus <laughs> action to use spiritual weapon. It's how the cleric gets two attacks. So. So, Clarifies. I'm going to protect my bestie, Zelvana, with, um, I don't know, I'm feeling a little firebolty today. Oh, Lord. Ooh. <laughs> firebolt. And I'm going to aim a firebolt at it. Right at blue, or right, right at- at blue thing. <laughs> Just Blech. point Blech. blank, dodge Blech. this. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Dodge so, this. <laughs> so roll that attack. 15 will hit. Oh, man. Eat shit. If only these guys would wear a shirt. Like that's all. Because <laughs> they don't have a shirt on. It's why. Yeah, that's that is yeah. seven why. points of damage. All right, hoofta doofta. All right, uh, does firebolt actually put people on fire, or is it just fire damage? Boom, yeah. gone. Uh, you hurl a mode of fire at a creature or object within range. On hit, it takes one d ten fire damage. A flammable object hit by the spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. Oh, okay. So I cannot burn his pants off. Yeah, I was gonna say that's like the, <laughs> about it. Not not that he has any to burn off. That's right. That's right. He has a butt flap. Um, so that being said, uh, let's go with 
Berserker, uh, Berserker number blue. So uh, Berserker blue is going to go ahead and see if he does something because he just got shot in the face. And he does. He does do something. So uh, he will attack again with his flail uh, because you just point blank shot him in the face. He will again attack you twice, Delfina. And then uh, Zelvana in his fury, he's going to swing back at you as well. So uh, Delfina. Does he have reach or is he moving? Blue? Yeah. Blue's right next to Delfina and Zelvana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Delfina's not next to him on my screen. Yeah, on my, my screen, screen Zelvana's in between the two of them and they're in a line. Let's see. So Ooh. on my yeah, screen, not... Blue is directly in front of Zelvana. Yeah. And then I'm to the left of her. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But that's a five foot range there. Ba, 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 unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, no, that's 20 feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it. Stop your nonsense. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, the first attack is on against Delfina is a 19. Jesus. I mean, yes, that hits. Yeah, that hits. Okay, good. Uh, that will be nine bludgeoning damage. And then uh, the second attack is going to be a 24. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come on, follow you. And that's uh. 10 more bludgeoning damage. Oh, yeah. For a total of 19 damage. Oh, yeah. I'm just like uh, that. Dig it. And then uh, uh, Zilvana, uh, his attack to you is 17. Yeah. Yeah. And that is going to be eight bludgeoning damage to you. Okay. I don't so like him. Delfina drops. Uh, and as she drops, uh, I still need both of you to make a constitution saving throw. I'm unconscious. Uh, That's not I nice. don't care. You don't care. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna moral, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh. use. Can I use my inspiration? Because I'm not getting poisoned by you. Yeah, sure. I'll say sure. That you reach. You reach into the ether of your celestial mind and be like, I deny you. I even. deny you. That's a D six, right? I got a D six inspiration. Yes. He <laughs> he. I got my first. I got my first one of the game. <laughs> your first kraken. Nice. Yeah. Damn so it. That's a 14. With that, with that 14, you pass. And of course, with the Kraken 20, uh, yeah, you uh, you pass as well. So neither of you are poisoned. However, you are unconscious, Delfina. Zilvana, I believe it is now the professor's turn. Professor, what say you? She uh, she needs she needs to make a con save. Oh, for the for um for, fairy for concentration fire. for fairy fire. fairy fire. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Um. Wait, is it's the plus Roll two? A, okay. D, yeah, D twenty plus D twenty plus two. <laughs> okay. Um. It is eleven. You're good. That beats. Good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so close. Oh All my right, gosh. <laughs> All right um i'll take yeah you know what let's let's cast hex let's do it do it also professor i got you like right on top of the berserker right now so yeah i moved up to melee range well no you're like on top of him at least on my map yeah mine too see i show just north of so, hold on, let me refresh this real quick. Yeah, you're like on Yeah, I think you and I are seeing the same stuff, Nate, and it's not what yeah. I'm seeing that everybody else is seeing. Anyway. Oh, interesting. Um, I so it's... I am going to hex the blue one. Oh, yes. Practice safe hex. Go ahead. And take a swing with the shillelagh. <laughs> and you are flanking with Zalvana now. You are. You yes. are. You beautiful... Yes. Bastard, you one armed son of a. All right. Wait, he's flanking plus it's at advantage? Yes. Well, so he's fairy fired still. So, yes, yeah. it's advantage. Now, flanking adds a plus one to that roll. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's allowed it's, to stack those two. It's a, it's like, a heck, it's a heck ton. What is that? 25? <laughs> <laughs> a heck ton? A oh, a heck ton. I was like, a heck ton. What kind of 20, 24, 24 to 24 hit. 24 is absolutely, yeah, you're fine. You hit, okay. you do a thing. <laughs> Freaking one on the damage again. So, again. oh wait, but I get hex damage at least. It's right. a little bit better. And it's an extra three. Total of eight. Total total of eight? All right, then. Eight. So then. I rolled a one and a three. Whew. This, this, this boy is looking rough. He's beaten black and blue. I mean, he was already kind of like 
like black because of the the frostbite uh, and whatnot and like the rotting like like the frozen chunks of him but now he's just owie um for the record i'm gonna say he has disadvantage on strength checks for fun for hex say you so uh all right excellent uh and is that it professor that yep that's it all right top of the order friends let's see if we can bring it home very out Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot at a uh, bleh over here. Shoot bleh. Since he's looking, stupid bleh. Hey. Looking <laughs> <rough. Face off. laughs> Oh yeah, that's 18 on the dice. <laughs> so 25 to hit. You're you're savage. You're savage. All right, yes, that'll hit absolutely. <laughs> roll roll that beautiful sneak damage. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, rolled real, real bad. That's 10 damage total. Okay, okay. He's, damage he's, rolls tonight. He's oh. limping. I rolled he's a limping. one, a one, and a three I on, my, on my dice. Man. So as, as you put that shot, it, like it literally goes through both of his knees and it just sort of drops him down a little bit. He's still, like tr he tries to stand up and like his knees again give out on him, but he's he's got fight in him, but oof. All right. That's it for me. Yeah. Uh, Zalvana, you're up. Yep. Um, okay. So <sighs> I'm going to slash him with the sword because apparently the other way sounds weird. So <laughs> <laughs> I wish to use the punto reverso of the radio technique. <laughs> All right. Um, with advantage. Yes. So it was 19 to hit. And um where is 1d8 plus 3 where is my d8 there you are hello oh good old five um and then um so that's five damage on blue five five damage on blue all right and um hmm i don't want to use up all my spell slots but it looks like i'm kind of doing that hey, all one right one of, your, one of your friends is unconscious I know. Um, so I'm also going to, um, yeah, I'm going to use healing hands on her. Yes. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Healing hands. That's going to restore four hit points. Brilliant. And with that, uh, Delfina, you, you come back to consciousness, though you are currently prone. I don't want to die in the first hour of the game. I mean, right? What a shitty <laughs> entrance. <laughs> like, this is bullshit. I'm really happy so, to be a part of your... Uh, in chat, he was like, at, at least you have a cleric. And then literally, like, right after that, you went down. I was like, mm. yeah. oh, we damn one it. job. We one freaking job. <laughs> I was right. just drinking had coffee. Uh, All right. Uh, that being so said... So, is bonus action... Is that a bonus action? Healing word? Or no, healing hands. He healing word is a bonus action. Okay. So yeah, brain. healing word is a bonus uh, action. Yeah. And then cure wounds. Healing is... hands is the ASMR oh, racial cool. and thing. that is and that is an, an action, I believe. Yeah. I think, I think so, yeah. That being said though, I uh buddy, you burned your you burned the D six, right? No, you didn't. I burned I burned the bar the bar the bar inspiration, yes. So just a friendly reminder, Bard. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh shit. I have a D6. Keep forgetting. I love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, we're just going to keep switching characters up on you until you just like explode. Yeah. Thanks. So I <laughs> do that whole bardic inspiration thing again. <sighs> um, to, to whom? To, to, do you need it, Xander? Is that, do you, well, I mean, it's always great because I can add it to my crappy damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, any damage is good damage. More damage is better. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, I'm gonna give it to Xander. Cool. Cool. Uh, awesome sauce. So the berserker in front of Xander is gonna go ahead and roll his. Yay! He's gonna roll his attack to try to beat the snot out of this prancy little elf. So uh, he... hey, I got plenty of castings of shield left. So know, do right? you even, do you even want to try it? All right, uh, 22? Yes. Uh, I will cast shield. 18. Is that even a shield cast? 
Well, well shield, shield is up, up for the whole turn. Oh, oh shield that's for the whole right. turn. It, it, it stays up for the turn, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So then the 18. Wizard the tank. Look at Man. you. But he's just like, boom, boom, boom. And he's like, ah! And he's like, doesn't understand why nothing's connecting. <laughs> <laughs> why you no smash? <laughs> we, can't, we, we can't dislike wizards in this game. He, he's doing that like, he's doing that like. No, wizards are cool. Doing that husky no. thing where he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like pushing his face up against it. It's just not. It's not good. All right. Speaking None of, of us have huskies, but you. But you know Triple. what. It <laughs> but I know what it means. I All know right. what it means. Um, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to give it back to him. That's right. You take two damage. No. What's the- I have never. <laughs> on advantage is it ones or is it 20s it's not 20s <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> perfect oofta doofta uh yowza dude oh. excellent well done right, everyone just, just gonna try to forget this turn ever happened and i was so talking just, shit about you, you having shield casts two crit ones I did, in fact. Do do me a favor and just roll another d20 real quick. Mm, Just to see if the gods hate you. This is never good. Uh, That is a 15. Okay, good. With the 15. So, like, as those two ones kind of, like, you did such a fantastic job of, like, doing the shield and getting out of the way of it. But, like, you kind of caught up a little bit on yourself. And so you stumble. And as you stumble, you manage to catch yourself out of the fall and make it look like you meant to do that with the 15. But yeah like off in the distance ferial in like the deafness is kind of like oh yeah yeah no, I, mean, I my, <laughs> th- my my thought was that in showing off with the shield and the deafness i moved five feet further away from him and attacked the air <laughs> <laughs> take this yeah oh all right delfina okay that's so- awful <laughs> four hit points first of all she's gonna get up and just move way okay. over here because she freaks that out. That will incur. No! Yeah, you're about to get hit. No. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, you okay. You okay. So, I will allow you to rethink your option. Okay. I'm like, oh, shit. There is, well, it may not matter if I'm gonna die, but there is a, a token in the art section for my spiritual weapon. <gasps> um, Yay! Oh, yeah. Very much. Um. Okay, so can I grab my own ass and use healing word to heal myself. Where are my spells? <laughs> yes, yes, especially if I mean, you do you could use that. your arm, but if you, per- never mind, you do you, whatever. Yeah, yeah. No. No, I, I imagine. I have to now, I've said I imagine it, right? she's like, wuching, yeah. wuching, wuching. Okay. And just like. <laughs> <laughs> and please let it make that noise. Too. Yes. So where, where, where the hell bless care wounds? Uh, healing. Oh, I don't have place lay on hands. Don't I have lay on hands? Nope, that's a paladin. No, that's yeah. a paladin. Paladin thing. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I can't play grabby hands. Um, well, no, you can do cure wounds. Wait, you, cure you, don't, wounds. you don't have healing hands? That's a paladin thing. That's a, yeah. No, she, no she's an oh, paladin. Oh, she's an Asimar. She's talking about healing, healing hands, hands Asimar yeah. thing. Yeah. Healing hands. Go ahead. Healing hands will only give her four, which would be go eight, go which is Two. not... Like that's that's not gonna push you out of the woods just yet. So okay, so I am going to cast that first of all. Cure Second. wounds. Love yes. it. That's an eleven. Um Thank also, you. fun fact, uh because spiritual weapon is not a concentration spell, it still exists even when you go unconscious. So you still have it as a bonus action. Uh I am going to use that. And that- I am that chunk of knowledge was gifted to me by Sean in our Descent into Avernus game, and I happily give it to clerics everywhere I can. So, uh, Yeah, make that spell more powerful. Go ahead. Why not? <laughs> On a scale of, you know, I don't know, 1 to 31, how bad does bleh and red look? Uh, well, so 31, uh, uh, so given the choice between the two, like, bleh is looking pretty bleh. Okay, so can I recall my spiritual feather and run him through with it? Let's see here. Uh, the range on spiritual weapon, I believe, is 20? You can move it 20 feet. You can only move it 20 feet. <gasps> but okay, you can get it, you oh, can no, get 20 feet will it. put you... 
right there next to him. Yep. Yeah. So you can totally put it there, and he will, you will be able to swat him. Yes, and that's I definitely want to do that. Even the old Asimar tickler. All right. So. Yes, yeah, I'm going to run him through with a feather. That's what you wow. Get. Oh, wow. <laughs> Between the safe hex and the Asimar tickler, this has been quite the show, y'all. <laughs> Oh all right, God. friends, roll that attack. For... Please get it. Please hit him. Please, please, God. No. Oh, a, a nine, nine is the f like. Yeah, yeah. That's that's no good. And I, I, uh, I got nothing. It's it's no double advantage. one, but that's it's not enough. So there it is. Seven. Oh, oh, but you have advantage because he's you have advantage. Very fired. Roll that attack again. Yes. Walk, walk. I got twenty five. Twenty five will absolutely hit. Roll the damage. Please. Yes. Kill him in revenge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. Are you bullshitting yes. me? That's yes. one, so five damage? Oh, my God. Please tell me he explodes in feathers, please. No. no, so, like, as you as you take the feather and it, like, thoom, like shoots through the snow and, like, sort of impales him into the ground and he's literally stuck on this feather and he's... The world's in winter's white, sheathed in shit. And like the blood is just bubbling up from his mouth. He is somehow still holding on. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay, guys. I'm the wizard and I have this one up here by myself. This is fine. I almost died. I can't get to you. I almost died. I did. I almost died. Right. I almost died. You, you have on chain mail. I don't. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ryan doesn't care. That's true. Ryan doesn't care at all. <laughs> oh, not even a little bit. Uh, bleh, uh, with his last remaining vestige of life, is going to attempt to swing at the professor, Delphine, uh, Delphina, and Zolvana. The first attack is to the professor. Which is a sixteen. Yep, that hits. Lovely. So the professor takes six bludgeoning damage. Uh, he's then going to attack uh, Delphina with a twenty. I hate you. I love you, <laughs> but you only take four bludgeoning damage from that attack. I said I love you again. You, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. And then Zavana with twenty-three to hit. Uh, you take four bludgeoning damage. All three of you must make a con save. Oh, I nice. have... Oh, against his thing? Yeah. Oh. I rolled, my, I rolled my concentration check, so Hex is still up, and I'm going to use right. my d6 for the save against right. his I weapon. I fell on the floor. Hold on. Jesus. We're going to uh, get a long rest after this. <laughs> 19. 19 is a save. Uh, Zolvana. Uh, 15. 15 is a save. Huh. Delfina? Yeah. I heard the ominous thud of a dice. Yeah. That was me. Oh, I was okay. about to say, that wasn't mine. So what happened? Did, what, <laughs> what did you do? I was you, looking at myself. You a con save. <sighs> come on. Come on. I've been so good at these. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. 18. 18. Absolutely. Nice. Okay. So all of you managed to shrug off the effects. Uh, I was rolling another con because I needed to make sure Fairy Fire was still up and I got a 10. That'll do it. All right. Uh, professor. Uh, yeah. This guy is still up, huh? Like, the light is flickering out of his <laughs> eyes. Dear Lord. Uh... I'm pretty sure a stiff fart would knock him over please somebody use that as an attack i mean as, <laughs> yes please. as an older gentleman he's got him <laughs> man i really don't want to all right i'll just i'm gonna oh my god i've got a shillelagh this guy whatever yeah wow that was a bad roll even with advantage 12 wait don't you get to add an one two because you're flanking 13. Wow, a 13 is a contest. Okay. So we <laughs> contest with the Kraken Dice. My Kraken Dice comes up with a 12. I got an 8. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm a loser. It's all right. Wow. wow. So, like, you, you go ahead to try to bring the shillelagh down, and you do <sighs> fart, actually. It kind of blows you off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> All right. It's been a very stressful day. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fairy else. Somebody. And then, uh, so uh, Shillelagh is a bonus action, correct? No, to, to cast it is a bonus action. To attack with it is uh, just a regular try to give attack you a action. All right. So, uh, fairy L, you are up. For the love of God, let this be the last round. Go to, go to. Okay. Wait, who are you attacking? Bleh, but I'm not attacking him because I rolled a nat one. With advantage? Oh, wait, I have advantage. Just kidding. I rolled a um, 17. 17 will hit. Thank God. All right. <laughs> and... <laughs> okay. I sat here and went like, oh, man, there's, there's they'll, they'll tear 11. through. 11. No problem. All right, 16 11... damage. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Like, your arrow like Ooh, boy. goes into the cavity where his nose was and then removes, thankfully, the rest of the back of his skull. Just makes that nose hole a blow hole. So there it is. Mm. All right. Um, anything? Just keep going. Yeah. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Heard it. Hate it. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> and anything else, Fariel? Um, so. Okay. Dig it. Zavana. Yeah. Can you can you X him dead, sir? <laughs> Why do you never trust me anymore? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. You killed me within an hour. I don't trust you at all. I technically knocked you unconscious. And also uh, yeah, I did take somebody's arm today. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Somebody just... one of us might be missing an arm. Yeah. yeah. Possibly. Um right. Zilvana, two attacks. Blue yeah. is dead. So yeah, so that means I'm gonna take my damn wait one second, one second, because my brain is not working. Um, okay, what is what is better? One d eight plus three, one d six plus four. Where am I at? Um, all right, so. <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to red. And uh, flank him? Is this flanking if I'm right there? No. So you can't flank with spiritual weapon, even though I hate to say that in my soul. Um, you have to be opposite of Xander. So yeah, okay, spiritual so weapon isn't there either. You didn't move it, R. So that's right. That's right. Spiritual. I'm so sorry. Yeah, spiritual weapon is actually right there. So, so. I have to be right there. Yeah, you have to be the opposite side of Xander to to get that. Do you, okay, but that's 35. That's yeah. 35, which it's I don't 35. Mm. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Um all right. All right. you still have, you still have advantage on the attack. So Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to use my rapier. La 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 does it's uh, hmm, ha You're doing great. <laughs> 19 to hit 19 is a hit and 1d8 plus 3 i can do this things in life and stuff cool um six plus three so nine damage there and also how much damage does this guy have like is he like any like if we've been having fun, like he hasn't I, been I, taking anywhere near as much damage because Xander's been dancing with him. So, got it. Um, I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers then on him. Um, eight, 18 to hit, and 18 hits. Um, four d six. Didn't you already? Didn't you hit him with something already? The rapier. Rapier. What was the damage on that? A nine. A nine. a nine. Thank you. I was like, uh, please, please remember to count all your damage because damage. I did. I said it. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. All right. So 45. <laughs> and then you go ahead and swing and a miss with a thing in the hang. Yeah. So Dissonant Whispers, what do you hit me with? All right. So we got a six. So we got a four. That's, that's a will save. Yeah. You got to save against that. Uh, and, I, and it's an action. Yeah. Yeah, it's an action. She, I have two two actions. Actions. she has two actions. Yeah, she has two actions now because with Flynn not technically here to fight, oh, I always give the I'll if there's a character now, missing so. someone yeah. else in the next room. I know, I know. The, I'm not cheating. From from the voice of the <laughs> rainbow beyond, we hear Herrick trying to clarify, and it's just like, hey. <laughs> no, you do need to make a a, a wisdom save though. Me? Excellent. Does no, I need to make a wisdom save? 
No, he needs to try to save against your spell. Ah. All right. Try it. He crit. So uh, he rolled a nat 20 on that. So uh, right. that's half, lame. Half damage. So half damage on everything that I just rolled? On the Dissonant Whispers. Yeah. Uh, that's lame because this was a really good roll. That sucks. All right. Um, it would have been... It would have been 18. Mm, so that's so nine, just nine damage. Not two, but still, that's you did 18 total damage to him this turn. That's pretty trash. It would have been cool. It would have been sweet. It would have been sweet. Uh, All right. And that being said, right. anything and, else? Sorry, Silvana. I have a bonus action. Yeah. So Yeah, um, you do. Um, Again, Bardic Inspiration to Xander. I, I didn't burn it last time because I rolled double ones. Okay, never mind. Bardic inspiration to the per- no to um till Delphi. All right, dig it. And Berserker is going to go ahead and roll his d6. He does, and so he's now going to go ahead and attack Sylvana and Xander. Uh, since Zelvana was the last one to attack, he's going to go ahead and do one against, we'll do two against her. So there's one flail, two flails, and then Zan, oh dear God, they're getting worse. All right. Uh, so, uh, his, uh, first attack is a 13, Zelvana. Nope. 17? Yeah. All right. That is six bludgeoning damage. And Ooh. then, uh, Xander, 22. Uh, I mean, I'll shield it again. We're burning spell slots like they're going out of style after. I know, dude. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah. All right. Uh, so first uh, thing in the morning, and <laughs> if you we're gonna need another long the, rest. It's the Yeti fight all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelvana, it's a uh, thirteen. Uh, I need a Constitution saving throw. Wait, what? You need a Con saving throw. You yep, took damage, so one yep. to keep your fairy fire up, and then two to make sure you're not you're not going to be poisoned. <laughs> okay, it's cool. You can, clarify, um, you can clarify which one you are. So, which one are you doing first? The take, con take. save. Wait, they're both, they're both con saves. They're both con saves. So you have okay. a poison save and a concentration yeah. save. Take Got the it. poison if you fail. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, all right. So, it was a thirteen and a nineteen. Both of those save. So cool. well done. Sweetie. Two. You thought All right. Good, because I'm like very low on hit points now. <laughs> Xander! We're going to give this another go and see if I can recover from my double one fiasco. I believe in you. Uh, ooh, there we go. Uh, so that's going to, it's 15 on the dice. Uh, and oh, yeah. plus, well, then that'll hit. So I'm going to use the Bardic Inspiration again on the damage. Dig it, please do. Please be something better. Oh, yes. Uh, that's 11 points of magical um, piercers. Nice, nice. He is He's down to the blinky red part of his health bar. Where he's me, 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 me. Um, excellent. Anything else, Xander? No, I got to mark off that extra shield that I just used a minute ago. <laughs> that's almost all, right. all of them, folks. Delphina, yeah, this, right. this is this this is this berserker's plan, which just eventually whittle down all your shields so you can finally hit you one time. And we just woke up, right? Yeah, yep. right. Yeah. This is really right? rude. Yeah, <laughs> worst nap ever. All right, Delphina. Okay, so it, this this guy with the big red X, he's dead. So all the baddies are dead except for Red, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, I am going to timidly move up just close enough so I can get my spiritual weapon to him. Love it. And. Then I want to attack him with my spiritual feather. Love it. So spirit, remember, spiritual feather is still just a bonus action. So uh, go ahead and hit him with that feather at advantage. Yes. Oh, I like advantage. So it's lovely good. this time of year. It I, is good because that one's oh, Roll it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit him with the feather. Hit him with the feather. Yeah. There you go. All right. Please tell me I kill him as I raise my spiritual feather and smack him in the head with it for 10 points of force damage. Nice. With that, he starts to hover at death's door. Remember. Uh Uh-huh. I'm fixing to firebolt that firebolt that ass. (laughs) Firebolt that ass. (laughs) 19 (laughs) 19. to hit. Okay, do it. 
I got the vapors on that. Yeah. Whew, that's oh, three God. damage. Come on. If he has four damage, I'm driving to your house. It's, <laughs> Wait, it's not four. He has four hit points. I'm driving to your house. Can it's I just four. gift you my bardic and or like just like my my d6 inspiration? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, didn't you give her a, a, a bardic last time though? I did give her a bardic inspiration. Yeah. I did not know that. Can I use it? How do I do? Hell this? yeah! Roll that damage. Roll one d6. Roll an extra d6 damage. We. That's a six. Okay. Yeah. Please. <laughs> and Please. with we're begging six, my dear friends, this fight and this stream is over. <laughs> oh. Wait, I broke the stream? You did, you did. Yeah. That six, the entire lawful stupid shuts down. Good job, everyone. No. <laughs> so with that, so the, the feather shoots through it. As he does that, you then firebolt. Did you say something really cool, Delfina? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and it hits like hits it, it just engulfs his face, and as he like <laughs> And as his skull burns away to the white bone underneath, he drops back. <sighs> and that, friends, is the end of the fight. Well done, everyone. So, lives lost, people won, tragedies overcome, yada, yada, yada. Good job.